Yeah, the directives, you have to check, man. Uh, you cannot check in anymore. It's, uh, I, I was, I, I, no, no more time. <laughs>今日はいつも以上に激戦ですね。もうやばいっしょ、もう今。本当にもう強い人がもう。めちゃくちゃ多くて。大変だと思いますよ。めちゃくちゃ大変だと思います。もう今日のレベルが相当高いんで。えっと
Ventan, is it gonna kill? It is! Finally, Nibby! Putting something on the board! He's gonna be able to secure this. Easy, we shall see. Unfortunately for Nebi, he got caught by Amato in the mix, mix, mix. He's in the corner already. Oh lord, a bomb! Viva la Francia! Oh no! Ah, here we go, Diabar from Nebi. And again, the point to get the low profile by the crawl of Amato, man. This is crazy, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, no! And Nebi running straight into the... Running straight into the, um, let's call the, the, um, the spear. Ah, that was unfortunate. And here we go with the kill by Amato, taking it extremely convincing, not going to lie. In the Brojo Cup, it's uh, either, well, two actually. It's either Hakuman or uh, Stida, but Stella is not here today. So, um, and Hakuman neither, but he's in the chat, maybe. And uh, yeah, so Hamachi, first time I see him participate to the tournament. So let's see how this pans out. Let's see with Akashi. Because like he's a low tier for you. For, yeah, yeah, go with the downplay. Are you a Zato player? <laughs> Are you a Zato player? Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure from Akashi. Akashi, he uh, forces Hamachi to pop the burst. Oh, no! That was a whip, Hilagi, but no punish. Oh, Akashi almost got the wall break. And here we go with Hamachi's defense. Good stuff. He goes for the... Oh, for the mixes. The schmix. Here we go again with the Kabari. Couldn't quite get the extension combo there. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> je je, je t'en prie, Yamato. Merci. Okay, every here we go. Good lord. Okay, Hamachi... Uh, unfortunately lost this first uh, round. I thought she definitely did a good job of taking it. I was concentrated on the chat so I couldn't quite see what happened though. <laughs> Please forgive me. Anyways, here we go with the just defend from Hamachi. I really thought he was gonna have enough time to go uh, to land and to actually be able to take back the, um, well, his turn. Oh lord, and here we go with the quick ro blue Roman cancel right there from Akashi. Oh, and Hamachi landing on the Shitsu. No, Shitsu? I think it's Shitsu, yeah. On the butterfly. And here we go. Hamachi going completely ham. Going completely gorilla mode with Baiken. Oh. Okay, oh, couldn't quite get anything out of it. What's the mix? Oh, Lord. He didn't get the... Oh, not the juggle, but it's still okay. Unfortunately for him. Oh, Lord. He's going to get the kill. Yeah, he is. Yo, Nemas. My opponent hasn't shown up yet. I don't think... What to do? Uh, one sec. Let me check real quick. Oh, damn. You're not the only one, too. Aranea, what is Aranea doing? Yeah, Aranea. Uh, let's let's wait until the end of this match, and if your opponent is not, and if your opponent didn't manifest himself, I'm going to DQ him. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So let's just wait. Aranea. Mm. You have, uh, oh damn, okay, so here we go with Hamachi taking the first round. Mm. You have until the end of the pure complete screen match to answer or you'll be DQ. Okay, anyways, uh, okay, that's done. I think that's pretty cheap. Anyways, uh, yeah, sorry, I, I'm called left and right. <laughs> Literally left and right. So yeah, I'm just <laughs> trying to check if everything is going fine. Okay, anyways, that being said, uh, yes, I'm back, I'm back. Yo, how are you doing, Conjure? You good? My opponent hasn't shown up. Okay, hi, thanks. No problem. Uh, Kai, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, just taking care of uh, the stream and the tournament at the same time. It's pretty hard, but we are getting things going. Hopefully, uh, Nemas' uh, opponent is going to show up. If not, he's gonna be me too. Wow, damn, how much he going completely ham while I'm not watching? <laughs> but damn, it's pretty, it's pretty close to watch because 
I think she actually managed to take one... Oh! One round and here we go with the bar from Akashi and the counter bar from Hamachi. I'm great fam, enjoying my day, I just saw this. Oh nice, that's cool, you saw a Kami then, that's cool. Alright, we go with the Kabar, unfortunately too far to reach. And Hamachi going again with the Kabari, here's the right... Oh, and here we go with the quick. It's hit overhead and he's gonna get the kill with the... The fireworks and Hamachi takes the second match as well. Akashi still has only one more chance to make it back. Oh, good lord, and here we go, Diabari. Uh, I hope I run here. Too. Okie dokie. Uh, back to the match. Yeah, sorry for uh, the lack of commentaries. I'm just like trying to get hold of, a hold of one of the participants who's not answering, which is very annoying. <clears throat> Anyways, here we go with the counter hit from Hamachi, trying to keep Akashi in the corner. Mikein, Mikein, Mikein. That's a match of knowledge, of course. Oh lord, and the Abari from Hamachi and immediately goes for the overdrive for Azakid. Good stuff from Hamachi takes it a clean. This dude, actually, even though he's, he's 14 years old, he already started uh, taking like tournaments left and right. He already won a previous Brojo Cup tournament, by the way. And he already won a tournament, uh, the Tatakai Tuesday, the tournament hosted by Jiuna in Nakano. He already won one, so he's actually a very, very strong uh, young player. And now he has a beautiful FGC future in front of him. And uh, just as I say this, as you can see already, he's got Atemu in the corner. He doesn't want to let him go. Oh my lord. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Oh my lord, that was sick. Okay, here we go. Wait, the corner pressure. Atemu forced to a bar a little bit because if he just keeps his life like just blocking, he's gonna die. Playing either Hamachi or Takarin, this is gonna be fun. Of course! Of course! <laughs> Good luck, Nebi. Good luck! <laughs> as an old man, gotta be like these damn kids. Exactly. What damn kids? <laughs> Almost got the kill right there from Poka, but Atemu. Well, playing Nagoriyuki, who has a lot of guts when he doesn't have a lot of uh, blood. Uh, oh my lord, and here we go with the kill! Poka takes it with a side switch. Good stuff from Poka. Takes the first round. Here we go with Atemu going ham already. Got the opening. Wanted to get the burst as well, but Poka was very reasonable. Didn't. Burst! And here we go, the corner pressure, and Polka, ooh, yeah, Polka got open, and immediately, Atemu just, ah, oh, yeah, this is, is it gonna kill? I think this is gonna kill. Yes, it is. Oh, my lord, and Atemu just stealing it away, not even giving the chance to Polka to actually burst, just immediately canceling in the overdrive. But Polka already finding the opening. Very nice air-to-air -air grab right there from Atemu, gets the closest counter hit. Gets the jello forces Polka to pop the burst! Oh no! Almost got the aerial grab, but Polka was one inch too too far. This is so unfortunate. And because of this, Polka is gonna get some uh, momentum back right there. He's gonna get not only the positive build bonus, but also the hard knockdown and the Okizeme. This is time to... Oh! Yeah, time... Oh! I knew we him finding the opening! He gets the grab and he's gonna get the kill! Good stuff! From Atemu, keeping a very, very cold head right there. I don't know if we say cold head in English. A very, very clear head, I think. In French, we actually say a cold head. When you when you say you're keeping your 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 head clear, uh, it, we actually say cold head. So that's the reason why I said cold head. I don't know if we say it in English, though. But I think it's clear mind or clear head or whatever. But anyways, Atem keeping a very clear mind or cold blood. Not cold blood, no. But anyways, you get the, you get the drift. You get the drift, just Atemu being godlike. And shaking it. <laughs> cool head. Here you go. Here you go. Cool head. Got it. Got it. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. 
Yeah, a cool head. Yeah, exactly. Keeping a cool head and managing to keep and to, to bring it back, basically. Good stuff from Matema. Finds the opening again with the 2S counter hit. Okay, he's gonna put... Oh, and Polka going with the Abare. Goes for the side switch. Double side switch. Do you want some side switch in your side switch, sir? And he goes with the wall break and gets the kill with the wall break. Good stuff from Polka. Staying alive. You get the drift, a good one. Exactly. You get the drift. Because of kill. <laughs> yes, I got it. Oh, yes, you got it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Okay, here we go. Oh, my lord. What was this? Was that a tea bag? I'm just kidding. I know it wasn't a tea bag. He wasn't putting uh, either Fukio or uh, the, the Beyblade. I think he was putting the Beyblade. Anyways, oh lord, and Poka waiting for Atemu to draw first blood in order to counter Pokem because he hit the clone and Poka's gonna get the wall break again with the hard knockdown. This is actually gonna kill. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is definitely gonna kill. Good stuff from Poka, bringing it back already. One match a piece. This is perfect equality. We are in a communist country. What am I talking about? I have no idea. But anyways, here we go with Polka getting the knockdown. This man played the floor is lava Dago. As he should. As he should. You don't want to play like grounded footsies when, when you're against Lago. And here we go again with the opening. He's gonna get the burst. Nice burst. Nice burst. I'm Arena, sorry FK. Can I play in loser's bracket? Uh let me see. I think I DQ'd you though. Yeah, I, I DQ'd you, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should have answered, man. I'm sorry. If you if you plan to play, you have to you have to be there when the tournament starts. I'm sorry. I already DQ'd you. Next time already, yeah, sorry. Okay, anyways, here we go with the next battle. And Atemu not on point with the uh anti-airs. Here we go with Polka pushing the enemy ever so slightly in the corner. And he's gonna get the wall break. Good stuff from Polka Temu in a little bit of a dire street. He's down one round. It's definitely not over. You're playing in the tournament. Yes, he is, he is, he is. He's, uh, his next opponent is gonna be either uh, Takarin or Hamachi. So yeah. You probably wanna play Hamachi instead of Takarin though. <laughs> Okay, anyways, here we go with the wall break and the kill eventually for Poka takes the lead two to one. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord! Up to the next battle. Oh, an immediate! Oh no, he's got the burst. Poka, nice burst. Poka, oh, gets it by the closest. You hate to see it. Immediately, Atemu canceling into the Wasuri Yuki for a guaranteed hard knockdown, accompanied with a, a very, very nice positive bonus. Oh, and he goes for the fake clone attack in order to Fukio and grab his ass. <laughs> Good stuff from Atemu. As yeah, I always get hit by this uh, by this setup. Okay, here we go, Atemu. Definitely still in the game. Didn't get with punish. Oh, he gets the juggle. Decides not to use more. Wow, well, goes for the closest. Almost got the conversion from the two. Oh! And here we go with the air grab again, catching Polka one too many times. And just like this, I think we bring it back, man! Two to two! The perfect harmony! Perfect harmony, as everything should, just like Father Thanos said in the Avengers! Anyways, oh! Here we go with the jump in by Polka against the counter hit. No! Oh! He hit the clone, but nobody was home! Okay, no entire there. Ah, back to the neutral. If there's such a thing existing between these two, these two characters, back to the neutral. <laughs> oh lord, and Polka got out of it to just go straight to his enemy. Oh, he's got the concentration station. Got the counter hit. Oh no. Oh, he's got the counter hit with the six HS now. And not him waking up with buttons, man. Uh, he's in limbo right there. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Yes, there is Leo. Moogie, Moogie's playing Leo. Mugi is, uh, he switched to Leo, and you're probably gonna see him play in the next match. Mugi is, uh, not up. Oh, you're gonna see him in three matches. You're gonna see a Leo in three matches, uh, Sora. <clears throat> Sora, uh, Mugi plays Leo now. I see 2K, of course. The wonderful 2K, and Poga's gonna get the hard knockdown again with the Air Six. Air Six. <laughs> This stuff from Polka. Ah, resorts to wanting to just zone, and this should be the kill. 
Oh god, taking a three to two. That was rocking Ramlet Thrall, actually. So I have two Rams today. Uh, I forgot who's the second one. Oh, it's uh, Nemasu. Nemasu is the second Ram of tonight, uh, uh, as far as I know. But anyways, here we go with the next battle. An immediate burst from Layman got caught by DJ Hamiyama and again with the air to her counter hit. This is gonna be a lot of damage. Uh, DJ Hamiyama is gonna get wall break. Nice little positive bonus. Oh, Lord, and that far chest counter hit into immediate. Ventana, this is gonna be the key. No, it's not short of just a couple of HP right there. This is unfortunate, but it's yeah, this oh lord! Almost actually managed to low profile the Puente. This is the second time I see today somebody managing to low profile the Puente. That being said, here we go with our layman and the uh conversion and the um what's called the confirm station. Here we go, layman gonna get the wall break! Get out of here, it's my turn to wall break your <laughs> Your your bum. Anyways, back to neutral and immediate dash from uh, DJ Amiyama wants to keep Rayman in the corner. Oh, and DJ Amiyama just letting the overdrive rip and this is gonna cost him the match. Good stuff still from Rayman not having like um overextended right here. Other one was Faust, doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't. You're right. Yeah. Fair enough. And here we go, Dower. Okay, no, that entire though from Layman, but DJ Amiyama man, just back dashing in the corner, man, and just, just to uh, at least force Rayman to pop the burst. DJ Amiyama definitely gonna go for the Puente, or not, gets counter hit with the 2 HS from Ramlethal. Rayman gonna get the wall break, and he pops the bonus, hits with the Forest for chest. Very nice entire again, man. Rayman on point with the entires, and DJ Amiyama just doing his best. Doing his his thing. Oh, and Layman managed to get not only out of the corner, but hit DJ Hamiyama out of his onslaught and uh, managing to take the match upon doing so. First match goes to Rayman. Very nice whiff punishes again from Rayman. Definitely on point. No wind tires this time. Hamiyama finds the opening. He's gonna get the juggle. Yes, he will. Oh, almost got the third. Hit, but it's still okay. Manages to keep Rayman in the corner. No, not south. Oh, but 20, man, for the entire. Which is very, very strange. Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure. No, oh, and I'm a, I'm a popping the overdrive in the block strings. Ah, ah. Very nice air to air right there from Rayman. And again, Hamiyama with the bag dashes to catch his opponent off guard. And steal it. Just steal it. Good stuff from Hamiyama. And Hamiyama back with the onslaught, keeping Rayman in the corner, finds the opening with the 2D. Goes for the fake uh, aerial attack into empty grab. Again with the air to in favor of Hamiyama, try to bait the burst, but Layman managed to delay his burst and immediately get the golden burst. Layman tried to enter and got hit by the aerial overdrive by Hamiyama, who manages to take it with a clean perfect. Good stuff from Hamiyama, let's see how this pans out. Rayman. I need to go drink some water though. Oh, that big 2D counter hit though. And here we go with the aerial. I need to know the, the to to get the, the name of the, her attack, the aerial attack from from um, what's it called the uh, Ramthal. That being said, here we go with the corner pressure. Rayman finds the opening with the third hit of the Rekka. Uh, cancels into the Roman cancel and gets the kill. Incidentally, good. Uh, third, well, good start of the third match of this game. Again with the air to air from Rayman and that back dash on Miyama catches. Yet again, Rayman off guard. Goes for the grab. Goes for the cross up. Finally opens with the uh, 2k into the Travao. Not the Travao, the Super Tura. Oh, and that. Uh, Oh lord, that was crazy. Good stuff from Amiyama. Manages to cross under, catch his opponent off guard, and steal it back. One match a piece, one round a piece. This is perfect equilibrium. Oh, here we go. The aerial onslaught finds the hit with the far HS. Oh, gets hit yet again in the air by Rayman. Rayman. Oh, good. Decides to keep Amiyama in the corner, by the way. Resets the pressure. Ah, finds the opening again, and this time around, it's. Hamiyama gets a wall broken. Oh, and again with the back dashes, man. Oh! Hamiyama not quite, yeah, he wasn't quite um, confident in his uh, confirms, I guess. Oh, no! Oh, good. Okay. Oh, here we go, the ram slam. Oh, the, every, the both opponents going completely ham. 
Good lord! Amiyama, Amiyama still on slot! Ah, uh, trying to get- Oh, trying to go for a grab! He still got the burst just in time in order to take it back! Good stuff from Amiyama, up 2-1, to one. it's not over though! Raymond can definitely make a comeback! With the Mr. Top player! Okie dokie, Bridge and Cookie on with the fourth match, and Hamiyama immediately finds the opening with a counter hit. Managed to get a quite a well, little bit amount of damage, still better than nothing. And Rayman finds the counter hit and forces Hamiyama to pop the burst. Rayman is in the corner, he is going to get well broken. Hamiyama keeping the bar for uh, additional offense. Um, no, Roman Castle right there. And here we go, Hamiyama taking it using a save jump to. <laughs> to uh, bait the uh, overdrive from Rayman and punish him accordingly. This is match point. Very nice 6 right there from Rayman. Oh no, gets grabbed out of his meaty. Again with the empty grab right there from Hameyama. Giovanna is a grappler. You need to remember it. Here we go with Rayman finds the opening with the 2 HS. Wants to keep Hameyama in the corner. Oh lord, the air do are in favor of Hameyama. Rayman uh, pressing one too many buttons when in the air. A very oh lord gets a four H and the forest and the rake out four pressure was a mix. Uh, goes for again with the oh lord he goes for the quick does for instant opening. We are going on to the final uh, the final. Well, it's a still match point, but Rayman can bring it back. Oh no, the Twitch has countered this, did a lot of damage in the closest to catch the bag dash attempt right there from DJ Amiyama. No, sir, you are not going to travel on me. And here we go with Rayman getting a lot, nice lump of, a nice lump of meat, I was going to say, but now a nice lump of damage right there. Uh, finds the opening with the grab for a perfect, we have yet again, perfect equilibrium. Two, two, two. Damn, we're going out to the final match, man. Very, very. Rem is a grappler too. Uh, to some extent. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're right. You're right. To some extent. To some extent. And here we go with uh, the sword throw to catch him back. That should have found me on my end. Unfortunately for Ahame, on my Rayman, Rayman was looking for that back dash. Who was looking for that burst? That was unfortunate. Oh lord, that was a strange uh, stuff. That is probably ex execution error right there from Rayman. Gets open with the double air. Oh, attack from Giovanna. Gets out of the corner though. Manages to hit him in the air with the Roman cancel. And then, well, Roman cancel and then get the kill with it. Match point for Rayman. What is Hamiyama going to do? Okay, here we go with the onslaught. Oh, the pressure is real! Ah, uh, Nibi, it's your turn to fight against uh, Takarin. He's calling you. Uh, it's, uh, you have to go play him. Maybe. Anyways, here we go with uh, the... Oh, uh, the pressure from... Ah, uh, Mayama! He's on the verge of getting killed! Good stuff, no problem, no problem. And here we go with Rayman actually taking it in the end. Just one second. I have a lot of uh, no responses right now. One second, yeah, I, uh, I need to check yet again. Somebody who's not contacting their opponent, please keep. Okay. 
get the build. Good lord, and here we go. Wow, with Hanya, I actually managed to take the first round. That's pretty big. A lot of participants said, yeah, I'm still sad they didn't make Yeah, I'm sorry, Yo Bing, but you need to you need to check in. It's important. But then again, even if I put the check-in the check-in feature, some people don't even contact their opponent even so yeah. I'm I'm starting to wonder if it's really useful or not. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Akashi, are you here? Yo, Hotashi, how are you doing? Damn, we have Hotashi in the chat, man. <laughs> Alright, down around, he is! He is, he is! Anyways, here we go with Hagiara! And this time around, he's going to lose this round with his burst very nice decision of him to try to keep his burst for the following round so one round a piece let's see how this is going to pan oh good lord ah. and here we go little Faust protecting his father RF having a very nice positioning right there keeping Agiara in the corner yes since I aired with the I do believe it's the 6 H. <laughs> There you go, gold burst from RF, everything is going to be determined here. Wow, did the freaking head, the, the explosion of the head kill the, uh, the minion who was guard pointing? That is very strange. Very nice to reach right there from Hagiara, but forces RF to pop the YRC. Uh, RF goes with the mix, mix, mix. Uh, gets the overhead, gets a little no, He's keeping Hagiara in the corner. A uh, little fast keeping Hagiara right on. Oh, this is really hell on earth, man. Good lord. Good stuff from RF takes the first match actually by the skin of his teeth well the second the third round was definitely more uh very much more convincing than the, the first one but that being said here we go on to the second match it is definitely not over till it's over we go with RF getting the knockdown oh, trying to enter here oh. okay here we go RF it got the wig on fire <laughs> yet unfortunately got caught by the explosion even though he popped the burst uh, I gotta definitely not uh, getting the necessary timing in order to get the uh, minions on the stage and start his zoning offense. Okay, finally got one uh, minion on the stage, but you can see Art immediately site switching in order not to be on the same site as the minion. Okay, here we go. We got the corner pressure. This is going to be pretty tough for it. <gasps> uh, if he's got YRC baited and immediately Hagiara going for the overdrive for the kill. Drive out! Hagiara staying in there. He still needs one more in order to secure the kill for this first match. <clears throat> you have two. Uh, what are we? 21, 55, or you'll be DQ'd. Okay, here we go with... Oh, Lord, RF trying to keep uh, Hagiala at this. Oh, he gets the knockdown with the 2HS. Uh, with the, the... What's it called? The um, 2S. Oh, here we go with the dive kick. And Hagiala going with the BRC to catch the backdash of RF. Oh. RF making good... Oh, no, he's got the... Oh, this is so unfortunate. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, single kill is, is really not... <laughs> Well, it, it it's easy to single teal if the uh, if the what's called if the participants are cooperative, and when I mean cooperative is, is just responding to messages from their opponents. That's all they need to do. <laughs> it's really not complicated, you know. I mean, ah, uh, but yeah. Okay, well, uh, Akashiji, if you don't respond by uh, nine fifty-five, you're DQ'd. Okay, I. I'm tired of like running left and right. If you don't respond by 9.55, you're DQ. <clears throat> so I I'm telling this to every participant. If you don't respond to your opponent within five minutes, you'll DQ automatically. I, I don't have time to like uh, run after you guys. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so anyways, here we go with RF. Keeping the corner pressure. Oh, he's got Agiara. He's gonna get... Oh, no, I'll break this. Unfortunate, but it's still okay. He had not only the Meteors, but also... Managed to hit his opponent with the far hit. Two, 
Don't have anyone to help you with this? Nope. I'm a one-man team. Shouldn't someone else be commentating the, the matches? Well, I don't really have a choice, Otashin. I did have like a couple of people who used to help me, but they, no, they, they, they stopped helping me <laughs> eventually. So I had to do everything myself. So yeah, it's okay. But it's okay. It's, it's fun still. I'm not, it's not a problem. Usually up until the, uh, I suppose up until just right before the uh, semifinals, I have some issues usually. But after semifinals, everything goes smoothly because only the, the real serious players are here and, and they know the drift and they know how it goes. So it, it's okay. So we still have like one or two matches still. <laughs> so no worries. But thanks for, for, uh, thanks for worrying. Wishing I, I still could, bro. It's okay, man. How come you have a family? <laughs> I think this is... This is more than a good excuse to. You don't need even. I, I mean, I'm not even like. I'm not. Um. I'm not. Uh, how do you say it? I'm not blaming anybody. You know. I'm. I'm just. It's from the kindness of the heart of people who initially helped me that they helped me. But it just you know things happen and. I mean, it's not as if you're my employee or anything. You know. <laughs> go home and be a family man. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, we go with the. Oh lord, the wonderful knife kick. Oh, he catches the back dash from Hagiara using the. Uh, D mix, mix, mix. And RF up one match in one round. Let's see how this pans out. Oh! Hagiara just running straight to RF, not giving a F. <laughs> that was a very long dive kick, by the way. Okay, and uh, here we are in the corner. RF keeping. Oh, Lord, gets catched. Gets grabbed. Oh, Lord. Oh! That was really fortunate for RF getting the trumpet. It's gonna get the meteor. Can you go with the quick dust immediately with Jim or drink? You have to choose my my man. Yeah, I can't I can't do either. Ah, uh, you're talking about him. Uh, you're welcome, Amato. Amato moves on to the next battle. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, we're good. Okay, I hope it, this is gonna be the last thing that we have. <laughs> Sorry, you're DQ'd. <clears throat> Please answer next time. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so we are in the top eight after this one. Yeah, okay, anyways. Oh, what? Mugi is playing Nago. You can, what the hell? What the hell? He went back to Nago? Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Kami SF6 poster went. I already have a Kami poster. It's not SF6, but it's a very nice Kami poster. I'll show you guys when SF6 is out. But I already have one in my locker, don't worry. A very nice one. Like, one of the best possible. Now, yeah, you'll see next time. Uh, you'll see when I'll do a Free Fire 6 tournament, when I'll host one. Anyways, here we go with Mugi, man. Catching that Fuki right away. He's gonna get the wall break. Yeah, Mugi is back on Nago. That's very surprising. Oh, and Siege unfortunately committed a little bit to a little bit too many. Uh, actually, Siege. Yeah, Mugi committed to a little one too many. Uh, one too many Fukios right there. Wow, and Mugi finds the opening, man. Oh, he's gonna get the wall break. Yes, he is. Chooses to keep some bars, some tension bar in order. Oh no! Oh no! That was so great. That was awful. <laughs> Oh, that was that is the definition of a Lago Yuki mirror right here. <laughs> that is the definition of a Lago Yuki mirror. <laughs> this is definitely going in the highlights. This is definitely going in the highlights. Good stuff. And I don't even know who won the first one. Damn, it, I think it's Mugi. Yes, Mugi, Mugi, Mugi took it. Mugi took the first one. <laughs> that was Mu Nagori Yuki players. <laughs> That's very funny, not gonna lie. It was go no knockdown right there from Mugi. One, a wee, be a wee bit too late on his uh, punish. With punish, that being said, here we go with Zeej. Got the corner positioning. Gonna get the OTG. Not enough to kill. Goes for the extension using the RC. Doesn't get the juggle. No, oh, go Sam. He's probably gonna go Ham. Oh no, and you're going to explode! Oh, you're going to explode! Oh no, you're into it! Oh no, and see, she got first made You hate to see it! Good lord, no! No, Zeech, not like that! Not like that, Zeech! I'm just so unfortunate! Oh, can you there we go with- Oh lord! The corner presser, and again, man, Moogie with the bar, eh, man, always finding the way to get out! Okay, but again, Z oh, this time around using the quick Roman cancel to get the command grab. He's gonna get the wall break and the kill. Yes, he is. 
Good wow. stuff from Zage, man. That was pretty nice. That was nice. That was nice. Okie dokie, Bridge and Cookie. <laughs> Lord. That was pretty nice, not gonna lie. And here we go with the fart. Okay. No, oh, and that back that's from Zeej and uses. No, no, and the back that's from Moogie this time around. Oh, please, I wanted him to back dash another time. That would have been so cool. Okay, anyways, here we go with the clone. He's gonna get the wall break. Zeej using the overhead. Uh, the overhead, I was gonna say. No! <laughs> the Nubelheimer. Exactly. <laughs> She did the Nubelheimer. Good lord. <laughs> and here we go with uh, Moogie getting hit by the Quig Dust from Zeej. And Zeej putting one on the board. Holy freaking lord. Is Zeej going to beat Moogie at his own game with his own character? That would be freaking funny though. That was pretty clutch, not gonna lie. Go get in. Oh lord. You can go Moogie Force to pop the burst. Okay, back to the neutral. If there's such a thing. In the Nagoriyuki, in the Nagoriyuki mirror, back to neutral. <laughs> Good lord, here we go with the, oh, the six, oh, eight, just to keep Moogie on the ground. Oh, goes for the quick dash this time around, Moogie is on point, he gets stomped on though, and this should be it, yes. Zeech takes the lead, one match, one round. Good lord, is that neutral in the room right now? <laughs> I love this meme, exactly. Is that new? Is is neutral in the room with us right now? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Good lord. And here we go, though. Mugi definitely not out of this yet. Goes for the grab. Unfortunately, couldn't quite juggle. He tried to do something fancy. Gets his bag dash caught with the forest. Here we go with the Rick out. No, oh, lord. Oh no. Zeech going a little bit too. He was too. He was too hungry. Zeech was too hungry. Okay, now we have perfect equilibrium once again. Oh, good lord! Zeed forces Boogie to pop the burst. But Moogie definitely not out of this yet. Got Zeed in the corner. Oh, that just defends. Oh, he gets hit by the far inch. Just countered. This is very bad. OTG. Oh, lord, in the back. That's from Zeed. No, oh, no, in the wake up overdrive. Zeed popping the overdrive. He's gonna get it. No, it's not gonna kill. No, it's not gonna kill. Not gonna kill. Not gonna kill. Very close, though. Zeed has a little bit of resource. Good lord. Good lord, good lord, the jump defense are freaking real. Oh, he goes for the good jump. It's not a word, it's not a word, it's not a word. Uh, oh, the huge got caught, the huge defense is to run out. Oh, that bag dash, oh, that bag dash was crazy from Moogie. That bag dash, that bag dash, though. Holy freaking lord. Oh, that was hype. Good lord. And with this perfect music by Mick Gordon, by the way, perfect for this match right now. Oh, good lord. Okay, and here we go with the Moogie and the jumping. Good lord. Okay, and here we go with... Oh, no. Moogie got grabbed. Oh, Moogie managed to hit Zeech with the forest. Oh, oh again with the forest. Just the... Zeech, oh. Mistimed his uh, aerial approach right there and got grabbed by Moogie, unfortunately. But that being said, it's not over till it's over. Okay, Zeech forced to pop the burst. Got the advantage with uh, the Beyblade. He's gonna get the kill. Good stuff, good stuff. Not over, not over, not over. Oh, good lord. Okay, here we go with the grab. Oh, Lord Moogie got Zeej in the corner. Kaboom. Here we go with the wall break. Zeej not out of this yet, though. No, no. We're punished right there from the, on the Beyblade. Ah, uh, it's okay. Yeah. Moogie's gonna... Take it, no! He whips it again, no! And here with the Abare, Mugi managed to take it. Okay, this is set point, guys. Set point. Zeej needs to get this one if he wants to stay in the, in the winner's bracket. Oh, no! The advantage goes to Mugi. Oh, yeah. Advantage to Mugi, double full kill. Oh, no, gets hit by the four chest. No, one show. Oh, here we go, no! And she's shaking them full kills, man. Oh no, that was such a freaking cheeky Fukio. It's not over. Not over. That's over. Right. Here we go to close the forest. Oh no, he gets hit by the third hit of the forest. Finally, Zeech popped the burst. Oh, ooh, he gets the counter hit with the, the, the Beyblade. Roman cancel. He wants the wall break. Wants the wall break, but he doesn't have any resource, man. If Zeech gets hit, wait, yeah, but then again, Mugi also cannot afford to get hit. Here we go to clone. Oh, the clone. No, you ain't the Zeech. He's got the green, man. Good lord! Oh, look, I need to drink water. I need water. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Good lord. Why is Bracken not, not answering, though? What the hell? 
That was crazy, man. Why is my freaking answer? What the hell? Just one second. Give me I can't breathe. I can't. Breathe this for the week. Breathe this for the week. Good lord. What is it breaking up? Now, let me send you the fuck. My, my freaking body is like being very. I mean, I'm, I'll send you the, the bracket. This one's like, yeah, freaking Lord, my butt is sleeping right now. Oh no, here we go, no! Boogie, boogie, pop! Keep pop, keep pop, keep pop! Good Lord! Here's the bracket. Good Lord, and see this on match point? Is he going to do the impossible to send Moogie with his own character in the loser's bracket? That would be crazy! Okay, Zeej, definitely on point right there. Here we go with the concert. Uh, Oh, oh, the 4HS in favor of Siege doesn't, doesn't overextend because he has high blood rage right there. Ah, that being said, we're going Moogie. Oh no! Oh, the bar in favor of Moogie immediately cancels in the overdrive. Oh, good lord. This is crazy. I think Scream Elements is down. Probably right. Oh, good lord. Ah, Siege! Ah, Siege gets grabbed and this is gonna be. Oh, no, it's not over. Not over. Not over. Not over. Not over. Not over! Not over! Yeah, you can see, uh, Moogie definitely wants... No! No, yeah, it did it! Ah, uh, the whole Zinj got the... The whole... Zinj is crazy! This, this man is crazy! This man is crazy! This man is crazy! We are on the last match! The last round of the last match! The freak is going on! Good lord! Here we go with the grab! Zeej, oh, he's got the corner positioning! No, he dropped it again! Zeej, stop dropping shit, god damn it! <laughs> Good lord! My voice! I don't know what's happening either! Oh no, what the hell happened? What the hell happened? What the hell happened? Just like this, he just gonna take it! He just gonna take it! No, he's not! I lied! I lied! I lied and Zeech takes it! I didn't lie! Good lord, that's... Just wait a couple of seconds, I need to go drink water or I'm gonna die. <laughs> Man, Okay, I'm back and already Darino having RF in the corner with the wall splat gets the kill immediately. That was a very quick first round from Daru. I just finished drinking water and <laughs> Daru's already done. <laughs> okay, I'm out. <laughs> Good stuff from Daru. Okay, here we go back to the neutral. Let me check if my bot is back online. And he is, perfect. <laughs> Good stuff, good stuff. Sorry about the voice, guys. I've, I've been screaming like a like a little biatch <laughs> ever since the previous match, which was so freaking hype. That being said, here we go with RF Ghost for the command grab. He's gonna light Darino up. <clears throat> nope, no one home on the die, but that being said, Darino did recover quick enough to punish RF. Oh, he's gonna get the wall break. Next step is karaoke voice. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Here we go with the far S counter hit from RF gets it by Darino. Darino converts and gonna get the kill. Good first match from Darino. <clears throat> Let's see if RF can find some way to uh, reverse the momentum right now because it's definitely everything in favor of Daru. That being said, here we go with the star raw start of the run. He managed to six feet the mix mix mix. Good freaking lord. Not only that, but he managed to punish it. Uh, like in cross up, good lord! Ah, yeah, Darino definitely everything going in his favor right now. Right, finds the opening with the uh, 4k anti air. Oh lord! Immediate use of the 4 Simo right there. <clears throat> okay, RF with the tick pressure. He's gonna get the. Ah, he's gonna get open though with the uh, 2k. Very nicely done. <clears throat> Anyways, here we go with. Oh lord! Ah. Um, Nice use of mix mix it by RF catches the back dash from Darino. Unfortunately, he tried to command grab, but Darino was ready for it. Nice back dash on the uh, hover jump, I guess, right there. Thank you very much for the follow, Yukio, and welcome to the Brojos. That being said, here we go with Darino and the corner pressure. Oh, no, he manages to bait the burst. 
the burst and you were going to wall flat. Ah, oh, this time around, yeah. All right, Pops, the RC doesn't want to do have to deal with the wall flag at all. Ah, uh, very nice use of the close S right there to catch the back dash of Daru. <laughs> ah, use of the banana jumps over it. Ah, he's gonna get the wall break. Good stuff. Good lord. Ah, here we go. With the, uh, unfortunately, yeah, RF got his a dive kick to six feet, but that being said, he was ready for the follow up from Daru and managed to punish him accordingly. Thank you very much for the follow, which bow, and welcome to the bro, Joes. Oh, here we go back to the neutral and that air to air from the Orion unfortunately gets hit by a, fall, a random falling bomb. Good stuff from Orion. Oh, look. Ah, what is going to be the mix? Ah, very nice air to air right there from the Orion to interrupt the mix, mix, mix attempt from Orion. We go with the uh, HCL. Ah, HCL again. Oh, almost got speared right there, but it's okay. The Orion was ready for it. Of course, for the quick. Roman cancel right there, uh, right after a, um, a block dive. Darino on the verge of taking it. Or probably gonna war see. Yes, he did. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lord, and no 6 right there from Darino. This is unfortunately in the bar. He goes in favor of Darino, managed to take it by the skin of his teeth. Darino in a, a very, very uh, nice lead right now, 2 0. But definitely, yeah, RF no strangers to, uh, to comebacks. So let's see how this spins up. Nice idea right there from R to interrupt uh, Daru Eno's uh, attempt to take it to the air. A little bit too far to get the spear. Uh, very nice use right there of the uh, stroke to go under the, the mix 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 in order to switch position. <laughs> ah, Lord, that was an unfortunate dive kick from RF. Uh, again with the mix mix mix. Ah, oh, Lord, and just let it rip. Good stuff from Darino. Did, did find the... Oh, he's gonna get the trumpet. Uh, wanting to interrupt RF from taking into the air to get away from the from the musketeers. <laughs> oh lord, from the little... Uh, from the little fast army. Uh, this time around is gonna be RF who's gonna get the initiative. Tries to go for a quick dust for the kill. Daru was ready for it though. Here we go, the mix, mix, mix. Ah, uh, just one hit. One hit is all he need. Unfortunately, Darino managed to... Oh no! But the defense from that dude, man, he blocked everything, everything with the uh, the faultless defense in order not to get chipped out and manage to find the opening just at the right moment to take it back. This is the mark of a very strong player right there. Not always going on the offense, but also being very, very, well, effective when it comes to defense. Not only reading the quick dust, but yeah, everything, man. That was really good. Okay, back to the match. No air to air right there from Daru. Gets the grab, though, from RF descending. Yeah, this is match point, by the way. Daru definitely very, very, very dominant during this match. And he's gonna take it with a perfect. He didn't take it with a perfect, but it was... This is a Machi. Singapore versus Japan. Let's see how this pans out. Zeej definitely, like... Like, doing all sorts of upsets. Sending Mugi and the losers with his own character. <laughs> well, that being said, Zeej is also... I know he's a uh, Naguriyuki uh, main, but it's still very surprising, though. That being said, here we go with the Kabari from Amachi. Unfortunately, he is in the corner. Manages to jump out of the uh, the, the command grab attempt from Aziz. Amachi forced to pop the burst though. Both opponents out of burst. Aziz probably wanting to resort to uh, to far hitting hits to uh, to not get hit by the Hiragi attempts from Amachi. Amachi does have the ah uh, the. He had the advantage, that being said, Zeech did pop the YRC to try to bring back some momentum. Here we go with Hamachi again with the... Tatami Pressure gets hit by the 4 Yes. Ah, no wind tires right there from Zeech and it might come in hitting... Yeah, bite him in the ass, unfortunately. Unfortunate from Zeech. Okay, Hamachi gets the first round. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, constant ship. Going home. We're going to come such again, and oh, good lord, man, the double Fukio. Lord, how much he doing the hit again? The block pressure is right there. We're going to Tatami Gaishi. Ah, no one home. Oh, no. Gets hit by the jumping. Oh. And how much he going full onslaught in the corner. Ah, uh, the summer round goes low. That was really sick from how Good stuff. He just doesn't know the matchup. Yeah, he probably doesn't. <laughs> Oh no, and he bombs that freaking overdrive. He's gonna get Hiragi. Or not. Okay, why not? <laughs> why not? Eat this. Eat that's how we overdrive in this town. First match goes to Hamachi. 
Good stuff from how much let's see how this pans out. Very nice start of the round with the 6 speed. Let's see if he. Oh, Lord! Okay, use of the clone. He's gonna get the wall break. <clears throat> yeah, this spins up. Oh, and that 4H is countering. This did a lot of damage. He goes for the quick dust for the kill and gets the kill with the perfect. Let's see how this spins out. Okay. The oh, no 6P right there. This is unfortunate. Kabari and that 4 standing kick. Aziz, oh no! No one on one or two HS. Oh! Here we go with the Kabari. Kabari again. Ah, forced Aziz to pop the burst. Here we go with the four HS. Ah, gets scooped by the two HS. Here we go with the wheels on set. This is gonna do a lot of damage. And here we go with the overdrive. This is gonna kill. Yeah. Oh, we're not actually. Thank you, Guts. What is this gonna do on Wake Up? Yeah, you can see how much he's baiting for this overdrive and catching the back dash with the Kabari. I bet on your age. Go how much he with the Kabari. Oh, Lord goes with the freaking... Oh! And here we go with the command grab again. The command grab for Zed. Ah, oh, tries to go for a third time. This man is hungry. This man is way too hungry for his own good. Yes, grab. Oh, no! Oh, good stuff. I oh, couldn't quite punish it. Ah, catches how much he's staggering right there and saw oh, how much he's popping the Hiragi in block string. Here we go to Forges. Forges again. Kabari, man, you don't want to get Kabari right there. Oh, and how base the grab when using the back Fuki. Good stuff from Zeech. Puts one on the board as well. Okay, it's still not over. It's not over. It's not over. What is how much he gonna do? How much he definitely thinking right now? Good lord, these are some good freaking match we have right now. Okay, here we go with Colossus. Gonna get the wall break? Nope. Goes for the jump. Oh, and tries to command grab, but how much he was aware of it. Ah, Lloyd, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, and how much he already back in the face of Zeke, man. Oh, nice use of the clone right there. To get rid of Hiragi. Oh no, entire siege, my boy. What are you doing? Ah, uh, this is gonna be wall break for you, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, she just wanted the blood break. Okay, this is dead. That was very, very, very intelligent from how much to do this. Now, he would have gotten the, the wall break and the, the blood burst as well, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Even if he broke the wall, I think it would have been the case. That being said, here we go with Zeed. Goes for a close S. And again with the jump in right there from Hamachi. Yeah, Blood Rage, man. You need to be careful. It's not like the previous patch. Very nice 6P right there from uh, from Zeej. Gonna get the knockdown. Goes for the far HS. Catches. Oh, the run attempt from Hamachi. Couldn't quite get the conversion, though. Here we go with the Kabari. Hate to see it. Ah, ah this is gonna be... Ah, this is death? Yeah, this is death. Good start from Hamachi. Okay, boom. Nicely done by how much he takes a pretty nice keep in to the one still not over till it's over Z definitely has the opportunity to make a comeback Y'all just need to believe believe in Hamachi uh, Believe in Z, sorry, <laughs> but believe in Hamachi as well if you want to Oh, okay, here we go. Ah, Z keeps getting hit by the 2 HS Oh, very nice about right there. Fight back. Zeech. You take more damage under blood stance. Yes, you do I think if you, the more blood you have uh, accumulated, so you see the, the blood uh, gauge basically, the more blood you have accumulated, the more damage you take now. So basically, yeah, you need to be really careful with your blood management now and not always be like full blooded, because if you get open and you basically, you don't take as much damage as Milia, but it's a pretty close one though. So yeah, you need to be careful. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Hamachi going with the overdrive. And boom! He's gonna get the hard knockdown with the positive bonus. Good lord! And yeah, that basically makes it so that if uh, Nagoriyuki gets uh, uh, blood burst, like blood rages completely, uh, it's pretty much a guaranteed death. It's, if he doesn't have burst and he blood uh, bursts and you don't get hit by the blood explosion, and you get to hit him, 
uh, it's basically a, a death sentence to him, so it's extremely uh, tricky for uh, Nagori key players right now. Yeah, and if Z explodes right now, he's gonna die. So he needs to be careful. Hmm. Ah, and here we go, Hamachi finding the opening. Oh, it's way more tricky. Ah, Hamachi's gonna get the wall break. Ah, Lord, this is looking pretty bad for Zeej. Ah, uh, you can see, yeah. Ah, this is gonna be... Oh, here we go, Zeej finds the opening. No, too far, but still can't find the opening. Goes for the double, Fukio. Ah, uh, you're gonna explode, bro. Or not? No, he's not, he's not. Woo, this is close, though. Very close. Ah, uh, careful. Oh, that back dash, though. Oh, no, and then Zeej brings it back. Zeej is not out of this yet. You too. Good lord, Zeej is on fire, man. Holy freaking lord. Good lord. Oh, that was so crazy. Okay, here we go. Zeej bringing it back. Ah, oh, I got hit, though. Good lord. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure from Amachi. He's gonna take it pretty quickly, not gonna lie. That was pretty nice. Ah, oh, good lord, you have to believe! Good lord! Ah, oh, how much you forced to pop the burst! Good lord! We get back to neutral. Ah, very nice 6 right there from Zeej. Wants to keep how much in the corner. Ah, here we go with the Kabari and the back. Yula's on sand, man, that is so tricky. Back with the Kabari? Nope. Still gets hit by the uh... Oh lord, no one on the Yozan sand. Oh, he got the conversion! Oh no, he popped the burst! He popped the, he popped the blood! No, and he gets jumped in! That is so unfortunate, but still, Zeej good. And uh... It, it's, only, it's really, really close to them. To, between each other. Still wants to know what he's on. Oh yeah, he did say it that, huh? Yeah, he did, he did. <laughs> Anyways, we go on to the next battle. This, uh, this is not the winner's semicolon, by the way. This is the loser bracket. Let me update this real quick. Don't worry. This is the loser's bracket. Perfect. So, loser's bracket. Uh, this is Hagiata versus Polka? What the fuck? Polka is playing Giovanna. What the hell? What? <laughs> okay, well. Polka is a... Is that the Polka, though? Let me, let me check. I'm pretty sure it's the Polka. Yeah, it's him, it's him. So yeah, Polka is originally a uh, Happy Ghost player. He might play like Geo as a sub character, I guess. Well, yeah, for now, it'll, let's see what he does. And he used to play uh, plus R Venom, so he knows broken. For him, Happy Ghost is just main. Yeah, okay, I can understand. Jacko is so good. Jacko is pretty good, man. Very under underestimated and very downplayed. And shoutouts to uh, the best Jacko currently in uh, EMS, uh, EMEA, EMEA, uh, Carrot of Wisdom, extremely strong uh, carrot, carrot player, extremely strong Jacko player. Only in Asia then. Yeah, probably. That being said, here we go with Polka on the verge of taking this round, goes for the quick dust into the low and finds the kill with the 2k. Good stuff. One round apiece. Western, don't understand, uh, don't underestimate uh, Jacko since season 2. Okay, okay, that's nice to know. Okay, anyways, here we go with the air to air in favor of Jacko. Agiela trying to push. Polka in the corner. Very nice uh, air grab right there from uh, Hagiela. Oh, Hagiela gets caught by Dina. Santi counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage, by the way. Polka wanting to keep Hagiela in the corner. No anti airs, but very well. Actually, nice 6 period right there on Hagiela's way out of the corner. Polka on point right there. Ah, very nice delay from Polka trying not to get hit by the uh, guard point. Ah, Lord, and, and that. Oh, Lord, that was so cheeky. Is he gonna get the kill? No kill. Okay, Hagiara. Almost there. Okay, it can go both ways, really. Can go both ways. Yeah. Ah, Polka holding very strong. Gets hit by all of the minions and their mother. Uh, good lord. Oh, very nice. Oh, no, gets hit by the football. The the football. Good stuff by Hagiela takes the first match. Polka sticking with his guns. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. Okay, Polka 
on point. Ah, unfortunately, yes, it by the 2K 2D. Again with the 2K 2D. 2K, one of the best tools of uh, of Jacko. Extremely quick 2K. With a nice reach, low profiles, a hell, heck ton of, uh, of moves as well. And here we go with... Oh, Lord! Ah, and the wall flat into the Illusion Driver for the kill! Good stuff by Hagiara. Takes the lead. Quite a pretty nice lead right now. One match, one round. Okay, and here we go. No, gets grabbed out of his offense. You need to see it. And poke out straight. Going to the cannon drill to keep his turn. Ah, forces Hagiara to pop the burst. Double dash with their front poke. Guy uses the Nasante in the blocking of his opponent. What the hell? Okay. Okay, respecting the Okizeme. Ah, unfortunately, got his burst faded right there. He's gonna get hit by the Elysian Driver. Is this the kill? It is not. Oof. That was a big bait, man. That was really, really big. Oh, Lord! Ah, uh, Pokemon finds the opening. Is that gonna be enough? But... No, it's not. It's not, unfortunately. But he's gonna take it with the grab. Good stuff from Toka. Okay, definitely still in it. Ah, I guess it by the 2k yet again. Ah, okay, almost got the bag dash right here. That was unfortunate. We go with the 2d. Nice box from Poka. Oh, good lord. Ah. Oh, no, this is bad. Okay, here we go with Poka. Almost got the bait. No, not the bait. The, uh, yes, the bait. I guess it by the. Uh, unfortunately, hits the guard point of the minions. Again, man. I get on point. I uh, forces Poka to pop the yellow Roman cancel. Poka not converting right there. Ah, uh, a reading the grab attempt, jumps over it and punishes accordingly with the Elysian. Driver doesn't kill, but gets the kill with the minion. Is Poka going to make a character change? We shall see. Well, the combo duo is not bad, right? It's pretty cool. Ah, and Poka's sticking with Giovanna, actually. Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah, Hagiara up to the zero. Here we go with ah uh, the take pressure corner pressure with Poka. Oh, very nice with punishes from Poka. Unfortunately, hit the guard point yet again. Oh, gets hit by the soccer ball. Oh, here we go to two K two D yet again. Agiara still on pressure point, man. Wait, they're more smooth when season two. No, season one. On est fait, on est fait. Okay, here we go, the quick dust, pressure, and Hagiara taking the first, the, actually first match, the first round of, uh, of this final, potential final match. Gets grabbed! Hagiara with the pressure, man. Got two minions. Got only one minion now. No entire, but still the 2k2d to low profile stuff. Good poke out. Oh, Lord, God. The counter hit still. Look at the damage, right, Lord. Here we go with Poka using the grab. No Nasante, no Entires, but it's still okay. Ah, he wants the side. Ah, he wanted the side switch. He wanted it so bad. Couldn't quite get it. Very nice with punch right there from Haga. Gonna get the grab. Oh, good lord. Oh, lord. And Hagara with the wall break. Oh, very nice grabs from Hagara and. Magiara, oh, just took... What the hell is going on? Okay, so Nekojiro is popping... What the hell is this? Nekojiro popping uh, Brisket and Mugi popping Chip. I have never seen both of them playing these characters. So let's see how this pans out. We'll see. Anyways, here we go. It's probably... They're, they're probably like... Like... Messing around. I'm pretty sure they are. So let's see how this pans out. Je viens t'envoyer une RTX 3070. Je viens d'envoyer une RTX 3070. Put that up for us, huh? Good lord, and wake up DP man from Mui Mui, Mui going completely ham. Gets hit by D4S counter hit. Ah, Nikoji finding the opening. Ah, and Nikoji going for the quick dust counter hit. Uh, for the quick dust roaming cancel. Wow, and the DP man. Again with the DP man and the call out from Nikoji. Good lord, that call out though. Brisket. Brisket. Ah, again with the DP, man. The disrespect. The disrespect is real. This is a grudge match. 
<laughs> ah, and you can see Mugi getting hit left and right, man. That ah, finds the opening with the 2D counter hit. Uh, Mugi, yeah, being a little bit too much passive, might get hit by a negative penalty if he if he moves too much. <laughs> Budget! Here we go with the close S counter hit, man. Mugi gonna get the wall break. Ah, here we go with the 2S counter hit, man. Okay, Nikozira getting some pressure, goes for the lows. Tried to beat the DP, probably gonna get the kill. Nope, not enough. Mugi did have the burst to save himself. I caught the bag. No, what the hell? What the hell was that? Oh, look. Oh, and here we go with the DP yet again. Oh, and here we go with the low end. Because he takes the first match. See if Mugi is going to stick to his guns. Ah, okay, Mugi finally, finally taking out the big guns this time around. Probably going to stick to, uh, going to switch to Leo, I guess. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. What was that? <clears throat> so, who is Mugi going to pick this time around? Probably either Leo or Nago, I guess, hopefully. And Leo, here we go, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. So, I'm curious to see how Nikozu is going to be able to cope with uh, the Leo of Mugi. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go, the Nugget Burger right at the start of the tourney. Uh, the tourney of this match. Here we go, the jump in. Uh, but Nikozu is popping the DP right away. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay, here we go, the 6P. Very nicely done by Mugi. Tries to go with the jump in. Oh, no punishes right there. Ah, good stuff from Mugi. Very nice with punish. I go for the side switch. Ooh, Lord. Ah, good lord. Ah, and here we go, the rising salami, but... Because he was blocking again with the rising salami. Oh! Oh, that trade. Ah, here we go, because you're going for the lows. And the close S counter hit did, did a lot of damage. DP is always the answer, especially yes. It is, it is. There's no b bad answer when you have a DP. Okay, Mugi got the counter hit with the... Oh, no, the overhead. Ah, very nice. From Nikoji, you caught the back dash. Get the corner pressure. No entire... Nugget burger. Yeah, Mugi definitely stuck in the corner. And here we go again with the DP from Mugi. Ah, very nice chase from Mugi. Catches the back dash attempt from Nikoji. Oh lord, and that jump in from Nikos, you know he's gonna get, ah, uh, yeah, a jump, a safe jump. Corner, and here we go, the DP from Mugi. And that air grab, though, from Mugi, that was really nicely done. Okay, Mugi definitely not out of it yet. That being said, Nikos, does have the, uh, the advantage. Ah, very nice, close S count, uh, close S to catch the back dash. Again, with the DP match right there from Nikos, you know. Okay, here with the close pressure. <laughs> Again with the DP from the Cozito, man. Okay, no punish right there. No entire. But it's still okay. Close miss counter hit. Roar. Boogie. Oh, drops the combo. Ah, oh, and catches the back. That should end from the Cozito, And this should be it. Good stuff from Moogie. Up one to one. This one on the board. Ah, and Nikoji this time around gonna change his, his character. I think Nikoji is gonna go for Axel this time around. So let me tell you guys, Nikoji is a Potemkin player, but he does play quite an array of, of, uh, of characters, uh, amongst which he plays Brisket and Axel as well. I think he's gonna switch for Axel, and if he loses with Axel, he's probably gonna gonna pick Potemkin at the utmost last. But he might, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I know them. I know them. I just know them. I just know how they their thought process, I know. And you can even bet that Mugi might change uh, from Leo to Nago if he loses with Leo right now. But we'll see. But I don't think uh, that Mugi wants to fight Nikojiro's Axel with uh, Nago Yuki, that being said. Fuck Axel, yeah. Axel is always the best. Oh no! Too far to get the punish on the snail. 
You're good to jump in. No one's home. Very nice for S right there. Ah, uh, gives the side switch, catches the bag dash. Ah, uh, very nice guard point. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Well, it's all things considered, it's okay. Good stuff from Moogie. Here we go with Nar Narmeas. Narmeas, background music, I love it. Oh, good lord, and that closest counter did a lot of damage. Moogie needs. No, he's gonna die. You did. Good stuff from Nikozito gets the kill with the actual bomber. Look, it's time. Actual bomber. Exactly. Exactly. Rising salami. Exactly. Oh, Lord. And Nikozito being very, very, very hungry right there. Using the command grab. Oh, Lord. A little bit loosely. That means that here we go with the save jump pool. I like Axel Sentry. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, here we go with the snail again and the command grab. And this should do? Yeah, this is probably... Uh, uh, it, this is not gonna do. Oh, Lord, and that reset! Good Lord! From Nikozita, man. Up to the zero. And here we go. We're going to knock out Yuki. Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> I read them like a book. I read them like a book. What did I tell you guys? I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. I know them. Okay, here we go. This is the real match right now. No, it's not the real match, actually. Uh, so, Mugi needs to... Uh, to... Basically win against Nikoji's Axel, and... If that happens, Nikoji is gonna switch to Potemkin at the absolute last. And then you'll get the real match. It's still not the real match right now. But I feel like uh, Nikoji might have more chances of beating Mugi with Axel than with his pot. So... It might actually uh, be... It, we might actually not see the, the real match between these two. Okay, here we go with the clone. Ah, and Mugi being very hungry, trying to get the command grab, but no one was home. Here we go with the side switch. But I think it's more uh, uh, OT deal with Axel with Nago and this too. Yeah, yeah. Might be right. It more hard to deal, yeah, with Axel with Nago in season 2. That yeah, might be the, the case. <coughs> Again, he was, here we go with the tick pressure, man. Nice grab right there from Mugi. Gonna get the wall break. Goes for the overdrive. Be sure to get a hard knockdown. Here we go with the Washuri Yuki. Ah, yep. Mugi trying to beat something. <coughs> ah, too far. Oh, Lord. Oh, he almost got- Oh, he's gonna get the kill. Good stuff from Mugi. Nice, he kept his uh, cool head right there. Again, character change, undecided player or deep uh, bur mind game. I think the, the first characters they chose, the right at the beginning, so Brisket and um, and uh, Chip, it was really just a, a exhibition match, I guess. Like, just to, you know, to have fun. And these are their actual subs right now. Well, uh, no, Naguri, uh, Naguriyuki is the main of Mugi right now. But Axel is the sub of Mithuji, his actual sub. And Leo is the sub of of, of, um, of Mugi as well. So now it's, it's more or less a real map, I guess. But their actual real mains, uh, well, there's only, we're only seeing Mugi's right now, because he's a Nagoriyuki main. So let's see if uh, uh, Mugi can beat Nekoju, and he just did. So now Nekoju is gonna switch to pot, I think. I think, I'm not sure, but I think he will. Yeah, he will. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna see the real match between these two. Okay, nice. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Swap machine. <laughs> so here you go, Potemkin versus Nagoriyuki. This is the real match right there. <laughs> good lord, I know them. I know them so good. <laughs> again, again. I'm sorry. <laughs> now this is the, yeah, this is the Giga Chat match. It is, it is. Okay, let's go. So this is the real match right there. Here we go, Hammerfall right at the start of the match, and Moogie, man, that freaking reaction command grab, that was crazy good. Moogie getting the pressure, goes for another command grab. Gonna get the wall break. Oh, that two inches still managed to hit Nikozito out of the air. Wow, very nice reaction from Nikozito, goes for the command grab. Not over, till it's over. Oh, it goes for another command grab, man, this is crazy, this is gonna kill. Nikozito, the freaking reset god. 
That is crazy. Good stuff from Nicolino, man. How many times I've seen this setup? <clears throat> Here we go, the hammer fall. No one's going Oh, good lord. Oh no, too far for the OTG. Muscle matchup, exactly. Good lord. Oh no, too far for the OTG yet again. What's going on? Okay, he's got the OTG this time around. Ah, uh, tried to go for the tick pressure, but Nikoji was on point with the grab. Ah, uh, again with the reset. Goes for the Garuda, man. No! Bad burst! Ah, uh, too far to get the hit. It's still okay, he's got the jump in. Get not over. Oh, he's gonna get the wall break! Ah, uh, he could have gotten the wall spot, though. It's not over, though. And still, Mugi getting the hit with the DP good stuff. This is final freaking final round, final match. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. Okay, here we go to take pressure. Nikoji does have one burst to get out of the pressure. Good lord. How are you going to close S to catch the backdash's attempt? Again with the close S. Uh, oh, he tries to go for MT grab. No, get rid of impact. Oh lord. You hate to see it. Uh, Mugi definitely in dire straits. Gotta get the grab. Oh no! That should not, not gonna do. One more. Ah, he gets hit by the overhead. Good stuff from Nikozita. That was a hype set, man. Good luck. God damn it. There you go. We're good. Okay, so Zed versus Agiara. This is the loser's uh, bracket. We still have like one more loser's match be before we move to the uh, winner's final. And then uh, the rest of the tournament. Anyways, here we go with the take pressure right there from Zeke. Finds the opening with the 4k 6hs, unfortunately. Tried to go for a command grab, but Hagia was aware of it. Immediately jumped out of it. Here we go with the 6hs. Very nice use of the minions to keep the pressure on. One swift hit of the uh, 4hs is enough to get rid of all of the minions at once, though. Very nice grab right there from Zeej. Gets the side switch. No kill on the minion. Very nice fire chest. Again, the fire chest tried to chip him. Ah, uh, oh, again with the minions, man. You hate to see it. Oh, Lord. Ah, oh, that 2D was pretty nicely done. Uses the 6 HS to catch the... Oh, no. He almost got the wall spot. That would have spelled death. And still goes for the quick dust for the kill. Good stuff from Hagera. Takes the first... Round very convincingly. Get on to the second round. Oh, good lord, the 6 HS counter hit you hit to see it. Here we go, go. Let's go, Jack. <laughs> Let's go, Zeej, though. We need to see some Zeej love here, yo. <laughs> here we go with the juggles, though. Good stuff from Hagiara. Almost got him to get the wall break. He's gonna get it. Goes for the Legion Driver. For the kill. Uh, not the kill. Not the kill, yeah. Thank you, Burst. Not Burst. Thank you. Thank you, um, let's go. Not Might. I've heard the name all the time. Oh, good lord, and then you get for the kill. Guts, it's Guts. And Hagiara takes the first match pretty convincingly, but it's still not over till so. Here we go, 2K2D. Hagiara got the knockdown. Ah, he's got the corner pressure. Ah, the corner pressure is real. He has these farts to pop the burst. Good lord, he gets the command grab. I ah, almost catches the back dash using the clone. Almost got the juggle, but forced I get out to pop the burst. Cut out this kid. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, again, here we go. Is he just gonna go for the extension? Is it gonna be enough? Yeah, it's definitely gonna be enough. Good stuff from Zeej. Definitely not out of this yet. Mm. I'll get on to the second round. Ah, I guess the 4K. Oh, he's got the command grab. Hate to see it. Here we go to Shizuri Yuki. Ah, he's got the DP. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Is this gonna kill? I think this is gonna kill. This is definitely gonna kill. Good lord, the damage, man. Takes it with a perfect, nevertheless. Holy freaking lord. I'm gonna get some water, guys. We'll be right back. Oh, 
Okay, I'm back, and here we go with Hagiara with the corner pressure. No, oh, he's gonna get the wall break. Positive bonus for you, my boy. Ah, uh, that was punished, though. <gasps> that was punished on the 6 HS was a really good. And Hagiara takes it with the quick dust. <clears throat> okay, Zeej down one round. Definitely not such a big problem. Not a big deal. Still have a lot of opportunities to make up comeback. Okay, but the corner is definitely not the place you want to be if you're fighting against a Jacko. Oh, yeah. Gets grabbed out of his uh, Beyblade. Nice backdash. Kills the uh, minion before being hit by it, fortunately for him. Here we go. Ah, here we go. The corner pressure. Yeah, Zeej fighting for his life to get out of the corner, man. Yeah, definitely not a nice spot to be in. Ah, Lord gets hit by the minion. And here we go with Agiara getting the kill with the grab. Agiara up 2 to 1. Is this going to be the end of Zeej's incredible run? We shall see. Okay, on to the next battle. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, Zeej still gets hit by the minions. Goes for the Beyblade, gets to counter it. This is exactly what he wanted to have. Ah, gets the DP in. Take pressure. Gets the command grab. Okay, this time he goes completely ham. No entire year to see it, and that far came man to catch him. Oh lord, and that backdash on the freaking Beyblade was godlike. That being said, Zeech does have a lot of blood right now. If he even uses one special attack, he might go into Blood Burst, which he does not want. And, but he still manages to get the kill with the two S counter hit. Thank you very much for the follow game, Marcus, and welcome to the Brojo. Again, here we go with uh, the burst. Oh no, Zeej had the. Yeah, he could have gotten the burst. Uh, the burst bait right there. That being said, it's still okay. He's got the pressure. And here we go with the ah, uh, the minions. You hate to see it. Yeah, ah, uh, Hagiara catches the back dashes. Here we go, with the empty low man. Hagiara oh, gets grabbed. Very nice back dash from Zeej. This has been the landmark of his offense. Backdashing in the corner. Ooh, Lord, Lord, no! No, Zeej! Jump! You are so lucky! Goes for the instant overhead. You are so lucky. Okay, this could go any way, but... Ah, and Zeej manages to freaking steal it! Holy freaking Lord! Zeej staying alive! Two to two, guys. Holy freaking Lord. Okay, Zeej is still in there. Is he gonna make the comeback? Is he gonna make it? Zeej definitely feeling himself right now. Almost got the counter hit. The Blood Rage incident. Yeah. It was so fortunate. It was so fortunate for him though. It was crazy, man. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Very nice whiff punish right there from Hagiara. Ah, getting the corner pressure. You hate to see it. Nice bar from Zeej. Finds his way out of the corner. Gets hit again by the TKT though. So ends up right back in the corner. Ah, uh, he did pop the, uh, uh, the overdrive, but uh, yeah, yeah, nice blocks right there from I gotta gonna get the Elysian driver for the kill. Give Nago some love. Give him some blood. So I gotta up one round. Zeej needs two rounds in a row if he wants to, well, get the win and not get eliminated. Double Fukio. Go, Jacko! Ah, nice to S right there. Interrupts the pressure from I gotta. No anti air uh, from Zeej right there. Ah, and you're, oh, Lord, you hate to see it. Yeah, you can see Hagiara trying to push Zeej in the corner. Zeej catching the backdash. Oh, here we go. Oh, Lord. That is not going to be enough. Oh, no, no entire. Ah, here we go. The concept's are too far to catch anything, though. Oh, Lord. And this is where you do not want to be. Yeah, Zeej. Ah, Zeej in the corner. As each has to eat everything. Oh lord, he found a way to press buttons. Catches the backdash with the clone. That being said, yeah. Zeech cannot press too many buttons right there. Okay, gets rid of the oh, minions. No, too far to hit. I get up. Ah, oh, nice Abari from Zeech. Oh no, he gets grabbed out of it. And this should be the end of. Yeah, Zeech run. Zeej is eliminated, and Hagiara moves on! That was a very, very... <laughs> ...to do anything.
Okay, anyways, here we go. On to the next battle. R versus Nikozidu. Nikozidu po uh, popping the pot? I think, yeah, he is, he is. Nice, nice. I love seeing uh, Nikozidu's pot. Anyways, here we go with the start of the round immediate. Start of the round of Nikozidu with the hammer fall. Oh, good lord, gets hit in the air by RF. And Mini Faust is on the screen. Nikozidu needs to hold it. It's too bad there. Uh, I don't want to be biased or anything, but... I think that RF might take it. I think the last time they played together, RF took it. But it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility that because he actually managed to take it, so... Yeah. It can go both ways, but I think RF might take it. If we go by, you know, usual trends. Anyways, here we go with... Ah, uh, Nikozu you're going with a slider hit. Catching RF, either moving or pressing buttons. Look at the damage. RF needs to hold it. Ah, and RF gets hit. Look at what is going to be the mix. Oh lord. RF not afraid to just run straight towards his opponent. Oh no! Oh, look, what? Okay. That was interesting. Oh no! Ah, uh, unfortunately for Nikozu, he's gonna get wall broken. Still not over till it's over though. Ah uh, no! RF with the ticks, man. Ah, I guess it. Oh, saved by the banana. Saved by the banana. Oh, and the Mega Fist for the kill. Good stuff from Nikozu. Definitely not out of this yet. He was very lucky though, not gonna lie. So let's see how this pans out. Oh, good lord, the hammer ball! Uh, too, too girly on the, the, the Garuda impact. I've never seen the afro on uh, on on Potem again, I think. That's something I kind of want to see now. And RF gets the kill, but little little Faust interrupts his combo. Very nice slider head right there. Oh no, almost got the trumpet, but RF managed to catch it before. Okay, here we go with the pressure. Oh lord, RF got scooped. RF got scooped. Oh, it got scooped the second time. This should do. Nikozido takes the first match. Holy freaking lord. Good stuff from Nikozido. Definitely not out of this yet. That was crazy, man. Good stuff from uh, from both, though. Oh, again, here we go with the Mega Fist, man. That was huge, man. Holy freaking lord. I'm gonna get the trumpet. So safe approach right there. Air to air. Good lord, you know. Oh, and the Mega Fist, man. Still got hit by the head, though, but. Oh, Lord, and the quick dust from RF to get the open. Ah, he's gonna. Yeah. He's gonna go ahead. He's gonna hit through the armor of Nikozido using his two hits. Again, with the flake from Nikozido. Ah, I couldn't quite get anything off of it. Nikozido just running out straight. Gets hit by the Meteor, though. Here we go with the close S, catches the back dash attempt from Nikozu and hits him with the weight and converts off of it. Oh lord, no entire right there. Oh, here we go, the slider head. Finally got RF on the ground and it's Garuda City. Ah, hits him with the flick. You've been moving one too many times and look at the damage. Holy freaking lord. The damage from Nicholas Yuta, man. That man. Whew. Ah, he got hit by the bomb. No, you hit to see it. Ah, this is still RF Stern. Ah, that's. Yeah, catches Nicholas Yuta. Pressing buttons. Ah, and here, here we go with Nicholas Yuta using the quick dust for the kill. One round apiece. Or definitely needs this one if you want to, you know, at least try to settle things and to uh, uh, bring equilibrium to the set. Ah, <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, RF wants that trumpet and he gets it. Ah, Nikoji gets it by the 2 counter yet. Still managed to get the trumpet. 
We go with the wall break. Good lord. Oh, good lord. And the pressure is real in the corner. Thank you for the follow, Rafados MY, and welcome to the Brojos. And just like this, RF actually managed to put one on the board as well. Can we have a, a match, ladies and gentlemen? Let's see if RF can actually keep this momentum going. Nikoji against the Garuda Impact. Goes for the flick. Ah, but yeah, little Fuss is on the freaking. You hate to see him here. Side your head, but no one's home. Oh, very nice of the. Heat Knuckle right there to hit Arf out of his uh, his dive. Didn't get the- Oh lord! Oh lord! And Arf gets the- Oh! They need to see it. Pot's arm are too big. How can Faust Spaghetti avoid them? That's a very good question. That being said... Oh lord! Because you got the 2 HS, but unfortunately got hit by the hit of Arf. Very nice slide. Go ahead. Ah, uh, you see it warning. He wanted that trumpet, but yeah, Orif also managed to not only, uh, well, get his turn back, but also jump over the the, the cavalry summoned by Nikojiro. Okay, here we go with, oh lord, the Okizeme. Ah, Orif gets hit by the Mega Fist. Again with that Snyder head, can't quite get anything off of it. Oh uh, lord, and have her fall, but the small fouls have been summoned. Ah, here we go with the air to air. Ah, Nikos, you summoning the army, and again, man, Arv just going around them, knowing his way perfectly over them. Ah, little fouls, man, still here. Ah, and here we go with the head for the kill. Exploding head and RF takes the lead actually, 2 to 1. Good lord. Smoy, my brother, thank you very much for the raid, much appreciated. Oh, okay, and on to the fourth match. Let's see if Nikoji can turn things around. Good lord. Nikoji forced to pop the burst. Oh no, slider head, but nobody was home. And RF takes this opportunity to bring. Because you do in the corner. Here we go. It's hammer time in Wheat City. And it's cavalry time. And it's trumpet time. And RF man bringing all sorts of time in Nikojito's face. Breaking the wall with it. Thick boys. <laughs> exactly. Smoib. Ah, good lord. Here we go with the OTG. And RF on point with the jab into the, uh, into the Roman cancel to blow the super armor off of Nikojito. Oh lord, here we go with the jump, and... Oh, slider head again, you can feel that Nikoji wants that knockdown so he can finally start making his approach. <laughs> but yeah, Orif just won't give it to him, man, it's so crazy, you won't give him anything. Ah lord, and look at that wrist bar though. Ah, the wrist bar is real, the wrist bar is real. Yeah, yeah and I know that Orif knows it. Ah, here we go, the Aegis Reflector. Ah, oh, good lord. The air to air in favor of Arf yet again, but gets hit by the Mega Fist counter hit. Ah, oh, good lord, Arf. You got something going? Oh, lord, Mega Fist. Oh, lord, I can't believe I almost missed Brojo Cup. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, I, I love it when people say stuff like this, but oh, lord. RF popping the overdrive right in the grab attempt from Nikoji. That was sick. Oh lord. Good stuff from uh, RF. Got the air to wear. Got a little Faust to cover his ass. Oh no! Tried himself to get a uh, command grab off of Nikoji, but Nikoji on point with the backdash to not get hit by it and punish accordingly. Mega Fisto, indeed. Good with the hammer fall. The only thing falling is you, Nikoji. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, there we go, man, because you're definitely fighting for his tournament life right now. Trying to get out of the corner, trying to find some some way to reverse the momentum. Yeah, break a leg. He should, he should break his leg. His twiggy leg. 
for now the doctor is winning over it. Brain is winning over Brown. As you can see. Oh look! Yeah, but still RF with the Roman Castle to make his approach safe. But you all you need is just one hit. One hit. Oh lord, and he's got the hit. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. It's not over. It's not over. Here we go, Garuda Impact. Garuda Impact. Oh lord, he's got it! And Nikolina brings it back! The clutch comeback from Nikolina. Two to two, holy freaking lord! Thank you very much for the follow, Charit4, and welcome to the Brojos. Nico's a gamer. <laughs> She's definitely a gamer, holy freaking lord. Good lord! Get on with the 2S counter, it man, holy freaking lord! Okay, Nico, you got the trumpet. Ah, uh, the Kevlar's here, but not hitting anything. Garuda City. Put him in, might be broken, Cheech. <laughs> Only if Nikojiro plays him. Okay, anyways, him and and uh, home pot, ho home the pot him as well. Home the pot center. <laughs> oh lord! Oh, here we go. Here we go with the pressure. Yeah, Arif trying to push Nikojiro in the corner, jumping over his hammer fall though. Ah, here we go. The quick dust. He tried to get a combo using a uh, little Faust, but yeah, he's, he was a little bit a little bit off with the timing. We genuinely have an oh lord counter for <laughs> Yeah, the number of time I say oh lord every time there's a counter on I, I yeah. I, I have to agree, I say it quite often. That being said, we are on match point, ladies and gentlemen. Nico needs to take this one. He's to win this one and the next one if he wants to win. Again, here we go with the corner carry combo from RF. He's in touch with his spirituality, man. He definitely is. Okay, and here we go with the Oh, the overhead, yeah. Because you is definitely seeing red right now, seeing explosions everywhere, everywhere in their mother, oh my lord. Ah, oh, oh, Nikoji and the, bro, the, the freaking blocks. God, this is death. Oh, he got him, he got him. Are you fucking serious? That was crazy. That, that heavenly pod buster was freaking crazy. Wait, wait, it's not a in the wake up jab from RF to take it. That was freaking awesome. Stone Cold Brother. Okay, so Darino versus Hamachi. This is a match I have not seen very often. I don't see uh, Daru play against a lot of Vikings. I know that he doesn't particularly like the matchup like most Eos, but I do know that he has a lot of uh, countermeasures to deal with it. So let's see how this pans out. You go with the uh, re-jump right there from Darwino and Hamachi being very careful, doesn't want to overextend, especially against a player such as Darwino. Darwino finds the opening with the 2k 6hs, he goes for re- uh, over, gets the- oh no, he got the burst, you hate to see it. Nikoji is the GOAT, man, Kai and Shirley joining EVO Japan as player, right? Yeah, of course, of course, definitely going there. I cannot- I cannot say anything about my performance, though, but I'll definitely do my best, yeah. I'm definitely going there as a player, though. Hopefully you'll see me on stream. Get my ass whooped by Japanese players. <laughs> we need the wheelchair for this big boy. Yeah, definitely you do, man. Because he is my go baited. Okay, no match arena, unfortunately. Host to farm. We're still not there yet. Maybe one day. <laughs> Here's where we go with the zoning from Darino trying to keep Hamachi on the ground. And Darino finding and drawing first blood on the second um, the second round. Ah, here we go, the bar from Hamachi, man. Kind is gonna be top eight, trust me. <laughs> I, I wish. <laughs> if I'm if I'm top eight, I'm um, I'm definitely getting drunk. <laughs> this is for sure. But it's probably not gonna happen. That being said, here we go. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. But we never know. We never know. I've been grinding a lot this this week, uh, this past month. But I'm not nearly like when I see all of the very strong Japanese players. I'm like, oh, I have so much so much to do. But yeah, anyways, probably hopefully you'll see me on stream getting my ass whooped, which would be pretty entertaining for not only you but also me to some extent. <laughs> There you say, here we go with Darino finding the opening right there with the re-jump and the jumping J. It's for the stroke. No one's home. Stroke again. No one's home. Ah, how much he gets the... Oh, hit! And gets a conversion even if it was a crossover. Uh, Yozan said that was actually pretty, pretty freaking good. Oh, he's gonna get the freaking YRC! Here we go! Good damage right there. How much he gonna get the kill? Very nice punish right there from how much he gets the kill over the YRC. Ah, oh, very nice for us. Goes for the Kabari, no one's home. Ah, uh, you hate to see it. Ah, finds the opening with D2HS. Oh no, gets grabbed out of the grab, the grab, the grab, grab. Ah, uh, you hate to see it. There we go, you're in limbo. Very nice Abari by Hamachi. 
Okay, goes for the... Ah, oh, Tatami Gaichi forces the burst from Darino. Good lord! Oh, good lord! Oh, lord! Kabari! Darino, mashing, not mashing, but the barried. The back down and the back through into the end. Oh, Lord, Venus blocks. Block again. That goes for YRC this time around. The YRC baiter got baited. And just like this, Darino takes this round. Let's see if how much, uh, yep, the round, the round. Let's see if how much he can continue to keep this, uh, can keep the momentum. No entire, you want to see it, stroke. No one home. Oh, no, and the die. The stroke. Okay, this time around, how much he on point with the punish? Goes for a Kabari. This is gonna, this is huge. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Oh Lord, the confirmed. The freaking confirms. This is gonna kill. Good Lord, it killed. Good stuff from Hamachi takes the first, the second match. I want Hamachi to win for Biken by Zaro. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. But to be honest, like the Biken, uh, Biken, you know, matchup, I think is in favor of uh, the Biken. So it's, it's not it's not impossible, you know. Uh, Daru has lost to other biking players as well in tournament to biking players. Uh, most of the people don't actually know because it's like Japanese tournaments, but he has lost to biking players in tournament and in against a biking player recently. Also, is Tuckerin still in? That's a good question, my my friend. Let's check it out. Uh, nope, Tuckerin got eliminated by. Oh, Tuckerin didn't even wait. Tarin didn't even make uh, top 8, actually. Yeah, that's very, very surprising. He got eliminated by Hagiara. Hagiara, who is in the loser semi-final right now. So no, unfortunately. If you want the bracket, you can you can check it right over here. Uh, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> and here we go with the grab from Amachi, man. Oh, the oh he goes for the end to air And he's gonna get the kill! Get boom! Get out of here, Daru Sensei. Good stuff from Hamachi. One round apiece, one match apiece. This is perfect equilibrium. Uh, no entire again. Ah, oh, you're going to stroke. Ah, oh, very nice punish on the Kabari. Ah, uh, very nice. The really the, the defense of Hamachi is really good. Yeah. Uh, that was sick. That was pretty sick. Yeah. I feel Eno Biken should be Eno favorite, but it is, yeah. It is, well, the thing is that Eno is a character that uh, relies on setups a lot and most of the setups are uh, safe jumps so basically like 100% meaties and how much not how much but Baiken blows all of this out because because of the Hiragi basically because of the Hiragi you have to alter all of your setups all of your timing everything just because of the Hiragi and that's what uh, well that's what blows a lot of uh, of um that's what throws away a lot of biking players uh bike it's not biking players you know players because they have to alter all of their setups and everything they learn about till now just to fight against biking it's extremely annoying uh give tips uh defending you know defending you know you have to know how to do uh fuzzy guard basically fuzzy guard is your your main uh, way of defense against you know once you know fuzzy guard it's 50 percent of the the the, the road done Seriously, if you know how to fuzzy guard, it's the Eno matchup is like 50% easier, like easily. Uh, oh, do you put VOD of all the tournament? You, yeah, all of them, all of them. You can find them on my YouTube channel right over here. It's edited. So I edit it. I put uh, time marks for every single match so that you guys can easily find out who's fighting who and you don't need to go through all of the VOD. So yeah, you can just check it out over here. And if you want, you can just, you know, subscribe <laughs> if you want. If Amachi can do it, ah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know, we don't know. Definitely Hiragi really be ruining set This freaking setup is sick though. The juggles from... from Hi Oh lord, and that cross up was crazy, man. Hamachi up one round. Let's see how this pans out. Hamachi definitely like doing some sick stuff. He got the... He got the Yozan set cross up. He goes for Yozan scene yet again. Ah, tried to get the two HS to punish the stroke. Not the stroke, the note attempt. The double over right there from Daru, and you can feel it, he's a little bit annoyed. I can tell. Daru is annoyed right now, he's annoyed. He's a little bit annoyed, yeah. Uh, but he's still being very clean. Goes for the 4 and we're gonna get the hard knockdown. See how this spins out. Oh no, and Daru didn't pop the freaking hit. If he had hit right there, he would've got Hiragi. Good stuff from Daru, you know. Good luck. 
get everybody respecting. Oh, look. Oh, that freaking bar from Amachi gonna go over. The one home on the... Oh, no, that jump back. This was sick. Amachi, looking good. Goes for the resets. Oh, look. Oh, Lord! He got it! Is this gonna kill? It's not. Yeah, the Kabarian goes for the follow for the kill. Damn, Hamachi, man! 2-2, two to two, we have a match, ladies and gentlemen. This is crazy. This is crazy. Dari doesn't like getting mixed and disrespected, exactly. But who does, to be honest? Who does? That Hamachi can actually do it, man. But he can, but yeah, I'm saying this, but look at this. Ah, yeah, Dari got the wall break. He's gonna get the positive bonus. This is not looking good. Oh no! Ah, oh, very nice to uh, 6H, 6P, I'm sorry. Oh look! How much you force to pop the burst? Try to hit that stroke. Oh no! The big little baby! How much you? How much he has a freaking good bike? Yeah, he does, does. Definitely a good bike game. Definitely not. An angry door is a scary door, exactly. Okay, on to potentially the final uh, set of this, uh, this final match of this set. Set point. So let's see how this pans out. Yeah, bye bye. Do I have this emote? I've subscribed to uh, to Daru, so I probably have the emote. Good lord, where is it? Ah, here we go. Good freaking lord, there we go. My emote. Ah, here we go. Bye bye. <laughs> Why push war violence? <laughs> exactly. Oh lord, yeah, but uh, things are looking pretty bad for Amachi. Yeah. Daru spelling blood. Now we're spelling blood. It's not over though. Ah, Lord. Nah, this is bad. Oh, no. Going deep. Daria. Daria, you wanted to dive so bad. And just like this, Daru moves to the winner's final. Oh, Agera versus RF. I do believe this is a run back. I think RF sent Agera in the losers. Let me check real quick. Uh, yes, Hagara sent uh, RF, no, no, uh, RF sent Hagara to the losers 3 to 1. So, this is basically a run back. Let's see if Hagara can make it back. We shall see. Good lord. Good lord. So, then I feel uh, for how much Daru had no resources and how much he had it. Like, ah, uh, yeah. You need to die with all of your resources. Hagara, my man, should you uh, bet on RF? I have no idea. This one can really go either way. Because Hagara, when Hagara actually applied pressure, RF was really, really. Really, like, uh, he couldn't do anything, so it can't really go either way. But, yeah, RF did manage to send Hagera first to the loser, so... I don't know. You decide. Never seen this matchup in my life. <laughs> Seriously, that's good to hear. Now you can see two very good players duking it out. Oh, Lord, here we go. The side switch. RF going with the Golden Burst. Ah, good Lord. Yeah, you want to play ping pong with a bomb? Ah, oh, and unfortunately got sent directly on Little Faust, which chipped killed. This is unfortunate. Good lord. Okay, anyways, here we go. Back to the neutral. And one... Uh, one minion has been sent on, but immediately destroyed. You want to see minions? I'll send you my Little Faust. Okay, here we go. I got this time around in the corner. Arif getting hit by his own weight. Ah, uh, there was an unfortunate meaty right there from I gotta get uh, grabbed by RF out of his meaty. Okay, here we go to 2K2F. I got out of the corner, forces the YRC from RF. Good lord, and using the bomb as a pressure tool right there to keep the pressure going. Very nice 6 speed from Hagara though. Gonna get, yeah, the cavalry. Ah, no, that was unfortunate. 6 speed gets hit by the head bomb. And another bomb. And wait, and little Faust. It's just never ending. <laughs> Good lord. Ah, uh, yeah. RF got the cavalry, and the first match goes to RF. Well done, well done. Very nicely done. Let's see, but it's definitely not over till it's over. Let's see how this spins out. Let's go, RF. Put my money on you. <laughs> that wonderful, that wonderful virtual money. I did put it on you. Okay, here we go with RF getting the haircut. Okay, what's the mix? Goes for regular tick pressure. Ah, yeah, you can see. Doesn't want him to get the trumpet. Okay, how can I get the trumpet? Good lord. Yeah, the pressure is real, man. What do you want to do? Look, there's so much shit on the floor. 
Not on the floor, on the on the screen. Ah! RF again with the dive. Yeah, but nobody's here. Ah, man. It's so hard to keep RF out, man. Not to, to actually go in against RF. And here we go with RF with the 2k for the kill. Well, the 2p, actually. One on the floor, too. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Ah, this is unfortunately for I get I got hit by the the spear. Good lord. Again with the weight. Ah, nice overhead by RF. He got the meteorites. Doesn't side switch. Probably wants to keep this side of the, the screen. Why is he again from RF? Doesn't want to deal with any sort of pressure. Ah, he's probably gonna get hit. But saved by little Faust. Oh! Scoop by the 6 HS. Ah, uh, by the 5 HS, I'm sorry. Here goes the grab. And Hagiara uh, trying to bait a uh, tech attempt from RF. And this is looking very bad for RF. Yeah, here we go with the pressure. The Jacko pressure, you love to see it. Yeah, the Jacko pressure is real. Ah, and he's got scooped by the end. Good stuff by Hagiara. Uh. Alright, what have you done about leaving your toys on the floor? <laughs> what did we tell you? What did we tell you? Who wins this matchup? That's a very good question, actually. But from... I, I suppose I su I suppose it would be like even it's evenish right like 5-5 five five, right it, are there any like Faust and Jacko player in the chat like I personally think it would be an even matchup I think because it, re it can really go, go both ways right I mean uh, I mean or the um, what's his name uh, Faust can like literally um, zone zone and out poke Jacko but Jacko can definitely rush him down like freaking hell so it, it can really go both ways i feel like if if Hagiara closes the distance between rf and her and just puts her like in the corner like it's basically death for rf whereas if rf can keep jacko off of him for the for all of the the during all of the the, the what's called the the round then it's basically rf's uh win i guess so yeah i'd say it's even probably okay anyways here we go ah rf got Hagiara in the corner it might be a little bit harder for, for Jacko, I suppose. Because she gets outpoked and she can get more easily, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, zoned, I suppose. From what we're seeing, neutral is extremely hard for Jacko. Yeah, you're right, Trill. Yeah, I was, I was just about to say it. But, just as I say this, I gotta actually put one on the board. I gotta put one on the board. So it's even. It's 1 1. <laughs> when she gets in, Faust is dead. Yeah, it's basically that, I guess. It's, yeah, it's basically, uh, Jacko's job to close the distance between RF uh, between uh, her and Faust and if she does technically she's the one who should be able to win but until she does this it's basically in favor of Faust because Faust has like better pokes and better like zoning tools I guess neutral is extremely hard for Jackal um but I think for people who can out uh out how you call out ranger for example well just as I say this like RF uh, not RF but uh uh, Faust with the the spear or Faust with the far S and the far uh, and the 2S as well. He can definitely out poker and he can like hit the um, the the minions from very far away, relatively risk free. Hmm. So yeah, I think that neutral would be hard for her for exclusively for characters that out poke for that out range her. Uh, so that can hit her like for, from like literally the other side of the the screen. That being said, here we go with yeah. Yeah, Hagiara closed the distance and managed to take it. But it's just my my two cents. I really I'm not knowledgeable on this matchup at all. Like I haven't seen a lot of Jackal versus uh versus Faust either, so <laughs> that was a nice bait, yeah. Anyways, here we go with oh lord the 2HS unfortunately. Oh, I've had time to block this. One, two minions on the screen. Let's see if Hagiara can keep this momentum going. Very nice XP. Gets the juggle. Holy freaking lord, that was a nice juggle. Oh lord! And here we go, the, the wall break. Ah, very nice 2S right there. Uh, for RS catches the bag that from Hagiara. Ah, Hagiara almost got hit by the tornado. Not the tornado, the meteors. The tornado. Oh no! Nice quick mix to catch the bag that from Hagiara. And here we go with RF goes for the quick dust. Trying to open him up. Very nice air to wear! Almost got the juggle with the, the bomb. That would have been freaking sick. He's got the meteor. Yeah, things are looking pretty dire from Hagiara, not gonna lie. Ah, he's got the conversion station, gets the kill with the forest. 
Hmm, yeah, Jack. Oh, neutral is already bad, but you can't even set up minions. Yeah, I guess 10 or for 10 with 6 PA is now. He's definitely looking out for the uh, the the dives from from RF. Yeah, he's definitely been uh, 10 on 10 on it. He's very good on the uh, the quick dust as well. Quick dust like uh, guard, it, the block. He, he blocks really good, uh, but not 10 on 10 this time. <laughs> Commentator curse. Okay, that being said, here we go back to the neutral. And yeah, both minions just got completely annihilated by the bombs. Ah, unfortunately for Hagia, it's still not his turn. Tried to pawn it, but too late because of because of cavalry. Yeah, the banana man. Banana's here. Again with the bomb. Ah, you can feel Hagia being a little bit angsty. He wants to close that distance. Oh, oh, is it gonna hit the bomb? It is good stuff. Woo, that was a nice conversion. Nice confirm. Okay, things are looking relatively. Oh no, he messed his freaking. He messed his freaking. What's it called? His his run. Oh, still got it. Oh, he got the conversion. He got the juggle with the minions. I got taking the lead two to one. Oh, that was crazy, man. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick, man. It was definitely sick. Well, good stuff from Hagiara. Oh, good lord, gets hit by the forest, though. And here we go with the haircut. Is it gonna juggle with the bomb nice on? Unfortunately for RF. RF not happy right now, you can feel it. He's a little bit angry, not gonna lie. Badly timed. Uh, uh, Meaty right there gets grabbed by Hagiara. Hagiara using the minions to go over the banana and hit RF out of it. Oh, lord! Oh, very nice block right there. I definitely would have got a hit. Yo, minion for this save, exactly. I gotta goes for the grab. Cannot juggle with the minion. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Oh, OTG. OTG jungle. He's gonna get the kill. Yes, he is. With the Elysian driver. Bye-bye. Good -bye. boom. Get out of here. Good stuff from Hagiara taking the lead. We are on set point. And Hagiara taking his revenge on Arth, man. Giving him 3-1. to one. <laughs> On the verge of giving 3-1. to one. Uh, when RF actually gave him 3-1 to one when uh, she sent him to the losers. This would be pretty nice. Okay, here we go with the overhead. Nope. Nice block from Hagiara. Ah, and the bomb is real. Ah, you can see the chicks from RF. Refusing to let Hagiara into his personal space. <laughs> Good lord. So he's actually uh, jumping 2k and Hagiara doesn't do anything about it. Yeah, it is what it is. RF isn't mixing when he detonates the apple. Yeah, I think he just wants to keep the pressure and push his opponent in the corner, I guess. Of course he isn't. It doesn't work on Jackal. Really? Why? Ah, because of the her low profile? 2k? You mean? Like um the 2k low profiles, right? The whatever attempt of uh of RF to try to overhead him instantly, right? I guess that would be the reason. Anyways, here we go. Oh, here we go with the overhead. And nice block from Hagera. Still in the corner though. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, this I didn't know. I actually didn't know. Now we know. And here we go with the bomb! Oh, good stuff from Hagiara. Fortunately, didn't get it by the way. Very nice XP. Oh, got the job, but little freaking Faust just here to to sour everybody's day. <laughs> good stuff from RF. Still in it. Two to two. Let's see if he can manage to bring it back. We have a match, ladies and gents. And everything in between. Okay, let's see how this works out. Oh, good lord. And that command grab. Afro for an Afro. Okay, here we go. Oh, yo, this match is... It is, right? It's freaking crazy. The comeback is real. Now here we go with the... Oh, good, good lord, the 6P yet again. No, no one show. <laughs> ah, this is really bad for Agera. Okay. Thankfully for him, he didn't get the juggle. Or if he didn't get the juggle, that would have spelled really, really... A lot of very bad things for him. He gets hit by the spear, though. Let's go. And here we go. I've got the corner pressure. He's got a little foul. He's got weight. He's got... Hammer time, and he's got exploding bomb heads. And just like this, RF is on set point. Let's see how this spins out. Thank you very much. I really like this. Thank you for the compliment. I do tend to say a lot of dumb stuff, so... <laughs> Please don't hesitate to fact check me. <laughs> Please don't. Don't hesitate to. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Hagiara getting the cavalry. Also managed to get some juggle with the bomb. RF will have the cavalry. Oh, good lord. Okay, he's got the cavalry. The pressure is real. Bomb yet again on the floor on the ground. Ah, I gotta need to respect it. Ah, he walked on the bomb again with the 6P. Very nicely done, Hagera. And they extended pressure using the cavalry, though. Here we go with the minions. Can't really get RF on the ground, though. 
Arif again with the overhead. Arif wants to get to go as. Uh, as. Oh, Lord. Definitely doesn't want to overextend right there. I think this is death for Hagiara. Yeah. Yeah, this is over. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. That's what she said. Oh, you're gonna go to 2D counter it. What? Why? 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 Why did he. I think Hagiara. Oh, no. I think Hagiara misinterpreted his burst gate for RFC. He thought that RF still had a burst, but it was him who had the burst. I hope it's not gonna come and bite him, but things are looking pretty good. Uh, did he want the wall break though? Did he want to reset the neutral there? Ah, uh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, look at uh, that spear though. One hit is all that is needed for RF to take it. No, no, the air to air. No, he gets it by the 2S. Oh, uh, this is unfortunate for Hagiara. Nice run for Hagiara though. No. <laughs> RF got your revenge, man. Okay, so how much he versus RF? Let's see how this spins out. So, who sent RF in the losers, actually? I have no idea. Ah, Daru sent RF to the losers. And Daru sent Hamachi to the losers. So, yeah. Both of these players definitely won their comeback to their run back to uh, against Daru. So, let's see who has the most ambition right now. We shall see. Give me my money! <laughs> Good lord. So, let's see how this spins out. Chronic walk back syndrome. <laughs> exactly. Okay, here we go with the spear. And Hamachi almost getting the juggle. He's gonna get the... Oh, Lord! How is Orif not afraid to freaking jump at that, that precise moment? It's so crazy. Anyways, here we go. Hamachi gets the jump in. Oh, my Lord! That over... No, he was too far! But I think Orif, like, let go of the... He let go of the, the, the controller right there. He got hit by the first hit, let go of the controller, and... Couldn't like block the third hit, I think. That was so strange. Okay, anyways, here we go with Hamachi. Going with the oh, explosion, the fireworks gets the hit with the Kabari and the extension for the kill. Well, not the extension, the run, the um, the follow up. Some Biken mains actually hate this matchup. Oh, really? But I can more or less understand why, I guess. Uh, because you know, if depending on, on Faust's options that he gets from the uh. From the what's called um, what's what's gonna what's gonna nani ga deru kana? Depending on the option he gets from uh, from this, there is literally like zero interactions with Biken, and Bikens they like when you're close to them because they can shagi your ass, I guess. So that might be the reason why they don't like the Faust matchup because Faust can take his distance from Biken and still apply pressure and not have to worry about the hiragi. I suppose that's just my okay. But Exon the uh, the. Exxon, the, the Biken specialist and expert, is going to tell us exactly why. Anyways, uh, here we go with the 4S and the 2S for Hamachi. Oh, she couldn't quite get the entire... Oh, that might... Oh, yeah, that is definitely a good explanation as well. This I didn't know. Ah, that's annoying. <laughs> that's annoying as hell. Yeah, I can understand then. Yeah, the crawl is really annoying. I can understand. Again, here we go with the 4S, 2S. Oh, Lord and the Kabari, here we go with Amachi. Oh, good Lord. Oh, and Amachi got the YRC. Good Lord. Good stuff, Amachi takes the first match. A very convincingly. Crawl under FS as well. Oh, oh, really? Maybe I should play Faust for this matchup, man. That was, that was pretty freaking crazy. He got gapped. Faust can 100% deny Kabari in this matchup, and Kabari is Viking's pressure in neutral corner so Faust, uh, Faust is a pain for Viking. Yeah, okay, I can I can understand why. Maybe I should I should play him against Viking though. <laughs> I hate playing Viking with you know. Anyways, here we go. Back to the uh, match and RF trying to put some options on the table. I mean, it's a very nice uh, entire right there from RF. Good lord. Okay, here we go with the head. Ah, Biken got lit up. Good lord, look at the damage! That's pretty nice damage for Faust, not gonna lie. Here we go with the conversion station, you gotta hold it in. <laughs> I'm going completely ham, holy freaking lord. I don't even see exactly what's going on right now. That was crazy sequence for Mario. Good stuff. Or play Anji and spin and you'll also win the match. Okay, what, uh, Anji? Anji Biken is, is in favor of Anji? Good lord, Gilgamesh would, would die if he heard you say this. <laughs> You're trying to trap Kai and you not naughty. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably, I suppose. Okay, anyways, here we go to Kabari. Anji, season 2 is good on Daikin. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. I trust you guys. 
Okay, here we go with the oh Lord the corner pressure and YRC this time around. How much he not on point? Didn't bait it correctly. He probably didn't think that Arth would go about doing it again. It's just it's just that no one knows the matchup. Okay. Oh, and here we go with Biken. Oh, how much in the air to air? Ah. Arth wants the pressure and here we go with the back step and uh, Forest for the kill by Exxon. By Exxon. By Biken. <laughs> By Biken. Well, well played, Exxon. Well played. You're playing Biken even though you're not playing Biken. <laughs> Matchup's always been on his favor. <laughs> Anyways, you're Bacon. Yes, you are. Okay, here we go with Dio's on Sen. No one's home though. Good uh, blocks right there from Hamachi. Ah, oh, that, yeah, that counter did do a lot of damage. Here we go, the, uh, the, uh, the Ozonsen again, Ozonsen, he's got the Kabari. Oh, Lord! Oh, what's gonna be the... Oh, this is gonna do a lot of damage. He's not gonna kill by any means. Oh, Lord. Oh, Negan, I... He yo. Can't he can't keep getting away with this. He can't any will. Here we go with the Tatami guy. She oh, gets hit by the forest, though. Again with... Oh, Lord, how much he getting... Yeah, running into the options of... Oh, this is gonna be death. Good stuff. From our elf, no, it's not our No! Wait, 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 I think it's gonna be a fine. Oh no, it's a little bit too far to hit. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff from RF. Good stuff, good stuff. Definitely read that overdrive. How much he was definitely, definitely being stressed out at the end of this sequence right there. Didn't really know what the hell was going on. This matchup is definitely not the only good Faust match. Oh, definitely not, definitely not. You know Faust is, is in, in, uh, in favor of Faust also, as well. Oh, definitely. Faust has some pretty nice matchups uh, here and there. Even I'd say Nagoriyuki. Faust is probably in favor of Faust as well. I'd say, uh, what's his name? Pot. Faust is probably in, in favor of Faust. I think. You can fact check me, guys. You can say, no, you're completely saying bullshit and shit. No problem. I'm, I'm probably speaking just from out of my ass, so. But I think all of these matchups are probably in favor of, of Faust. That grab spam. Exactly. Here we go with. Hamachi getting a, the first round of this match. Let's see how this spins out. And both players just looking each other in the deep of their eyes. Ah, uh, going low this time around. Very nice grab. Bro, how many mix do you have, bro? Can you see that last one for Shinsha? Oui, oui, oui. Tu, euh, non, tu me l'avais pas dit. Mais vas-y, on se voit. La semaine prochaine, c'est à dire quand? Parce que le week-end, moi, je suis occupé, ça va, malheureusement. And Hamachi takes uh, the third match as well. Hmm. La semaine pro, tu m'avais pas dit. Ah merde, bah, le week-end, je suis pris, mec. Je suis pris, je peux pas te décommander. Attends, le week-end prochain, c'est quoi C'est le week-end qui arrive là C'est-à-dire le, le le 4. Le 4. Si c'est le 4, je suis dispo. Si c'est le 11, je suis pas dispo. Ah, le 10 au 12, je suis pas dispo. Peut-être le 10 au soir, si tu veux, vite fait. Mais le 11, 12, je suis, je suis pris, hein, malheureusement. <rire> Fallait me dire avant And here we go with the golden burst right there from Hamachi. Got two bars to work with. Let's see how this spins out. Good lord. Overbooker client. Ah man. I'm booked, man. I'm booked. Ça s'est fait de dire. Ah, that sucks. Ah, tu me l'as dit. Si j'avais su un petit peu plus tôt, j'aurais pu j'aurais pu prévoir quelque chose. Mais là, là, ça va être chaud. Ah, here we go with the air to air by RF, man. Good lord. Ah, uh, RF again with the 6 speed, but nobody's home. Oh, and the mash by Hamachi. This is gonna do. This is not over because he has a second bar as well. Is that gonna kill? Uh, this is gonna kill us. Yeah. Good lord. Why this is so? I said I pouvoir faire. Normalement. Okay, and up to the next battle. Faut pas voir là comme un trou, mais ça doit le faire. Okay, are you from Quebec or France or maybe an African uh, diaspora? Yes, I'm from France actually. I just had. I just have some uh, had. I just have some family in America who I used to visit every every summer uh, ever since I was three years old up until like 11 to 12. So I kind of got the hold of a very basic American accent, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that means here we go with the OTG by RF. Oh, and you don't stand up, but still RF had the bar to make it safe and recover in time. Still, it is option. Galore for RF. Look at the pressure. Look at the pressure. And the forest. Down the red man. Mr. International. I still have yet to speak perfect uh, Japanese. So I, I need to. I need to work on that. 
But it's still okay. I can get myself understood. It's more than enough. Oh, and here we go. No, Lord. Is this gonna kill? There is a little bit of fruition. I think it's gonna kill. Oh, no, it's not enough yet to see it. I'm just a regular. Uh... 4K for the key. By the way, well, fuck it. I am going to update everything on the fly because I am a professional. I need to update the flags though. How much she losers? Uh, yeah, you're gonna see all of my update skills right there. There we go. Update Korea Grand Final and Grand Final. Okay, perfect. Everything good? I hope everything's good. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we go. Winner is Grand Final. Are we good? Perfect. They don't. These guys don't let me. They don't give me the chance. They don't give me the time to update anything. Nobody bet on Hamachi, by the way, for the for the prediction. Okay, who's betting on who for this one though? Darino versus Hamachi. Let's see how this turns out. And for now, Hamachi is stuck in the corner. Gets the Hiragi though. Is he gonna get the kill? Not enough. Just just shy to get the kill. Quand même une impression de déjà. Oh, and here we go with all the fall. Oh, you can see Darino going in deep, man. Going in deep, trying to get to the back dash or to outlast the Hiragi of Hamachi. I just heard from our stream that Hamachi is actually Nino Mike. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Okay, that would make sense. Yeah, Nino Mai, I do know this uh, this bike. Yeah. That would make extreme sense, yeah. Well, let me check. We can check on the uh, rating update. Uh, but maybe he changed his name completely. I'm gonna check it for you guys because I'm a very nice TO. How much? Oh, let's check it out. How much? Eh? How do you rate it? Yeah, how much? Giovanna Kai or Soul? Well, um, I don't know. The only how much I can find is either a Giovanna Kai or Soul player. From uh, rating update, that is. And, uh, how do you say? Yeah, there's no bike. Color 2 bike are the best one. So I don't know, but uh, if it's you know my it, it would make sense because he's fucking strong. <laughs> that would definitely make sense. Anyways, here we go with on oh, the corner pressure and are we gonna get well broken? One care how much is good, good stuff. Believe you got to believe. Oh good lord, here we go with the re jump and again with the jump from Darino going straight for the uh what's called the uh fortissimo. Yeah, looks like this is actually no my head would make sense. Oh lord, how much he almost got baited. Ah, this is bad. Yeah. Good stuff from Darino takes uh, the first match. Pretty convincingly, not going to lie. People vote the revenge or yeah. <laughs> Everybody betting on Ninomai. That would be oh it's okay. I like a underdog. I like uh when people bet on the underdog. Can wait, uh can't bet against Daru Sensei. It's understandable. Again, ring. Oh lord, the, the the dives are real, man. Ah uh, no, you know my got grabbed in the air. Good lord, here we go. The two K two D. Ah, Dorino kind of messed up right there. His whatever he was trying to do. And here we go with the pressure, pressure again with give us army back. Oh lord, and the megalomania. You love to see it. Here we go. The megalomania is this gonna kill it? Is holy freaking lord. Nerf, nerf, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Please don't nerf you. <laughs> bye bye. Ah, okay, here we go. How much he not out of this yet gets hit by the six speed though. Ah, very nice 2s right there. Counter it. Okay, trying to get something started. Very, very nice confirms right there from how much he goes immediately for the overdrive. Oh lord, I think he messed up his. He was on send right there. Probably did. Here we go, the stroke. Can't punish it. Ah, Lord, and here we go to 6P. Yeah, Darino definitely here where he wants to be. Ah, this is bad for Daru. He's gonna get killed. Good stuff by how much he gets the second round. The other characters need nerves. <laughs> Viking doesn't need buffs. Yeah. So pretty does sing. <laughs> okay, here we go with the, uh, the wall pressure. Ah, base the Hiragi. Ah, goes for the re jump. And yeah, how much he's standing on his last legs for this set right there. Not the set, but this match. Ah, yeah, this is yeah, this is good. Good stuff from Darino. Definitely keeping a cool head right there. Taking a pretty nice lead of two to zero. Only uh, Happy Girls needs nerf. 
So does she round star immediate stroke, man. Darwino and the mobility of this man goes for the 2 h this gets the counter hit. Kaiten, uh, Kaiten, Baiken is already OD. Oh good lord, here we go to 2k2d, Daru is gonna get the corner pressure. Oh no! Hamachi trying to get the grab, but Daru feeling it and just backdashing on it. Oh no, and oh! Hamachi didn't get it by the Megalomania setup, very nicely done. That was really, really close. Okay, here we go to Yozan Sen. Ah! Not over till it's over. Stroke. No, you hate to see it. Oh, no. No! Good! The bar from how much he not over. Ah, uh, no. Entire good. Oh, no! Gets it by the stroke. You hate to see it. This is tournament points, ladies and gentlemen. Darino on the verge of taking everything 3 to 0. Good lord. Nerf Daru. <laughs> nerf Daru. Daru, stop! We're gonna nerf you! <laughs> Somebody needs to stop this man. Oh lord, we've got the wall splat. The wall splat is here. Oh no, he goes for the grab! After the blue Roman gets oh, Good lord, again with the grab! And oh, the bar from Amachi, not over! Oh lord, Amachi! Last legs, last chance, and he gets it! And this is gonna do! And just like this, Darino is your Brojo Cup number 73 champion!